just a sexy titty pick of grandma. <laughs> wow. This is from when grandma was really young. Oh my god, that's disturbing. Hi hey guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing really well. So today we are going to play Open Roads. I was drawn to this by the art style actually. I was looking at the pictures and I thought it looked gorgeous. And I do like occasionally to get stuck into a story. This is also on Game Pass as well, so if you've got Game Pass then you can download it and play it now. So, I will tell you what this is about. This is about a mother and daughter, Tess and her mother Opal. They discover some old notes and letters that were sashed away in the attic of their house. It reveals some deep-rooted family secrets and decades-old burglaries. There's a lost treasure somewhere uh, near the Canadian border, I think. Where they, but what they uncover suggests a much darker mystery. Best left well alone. But they probably don't leave it well enough alone, otherwise it wouldn't be a game. <laughs> so their relationship, their, the mother and daughter relationship has always been a, a bit strange, shall we say. But they embark on a road trip together. They're going on an adventure. And explore a series of long abandoned family properties, unearthing the past. Uh, is I think it's a good story. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this uh, game. Tess. Or is that dad? Mm. Oh, Granny! Don't give me any sad stories about grandmas because I will be in tears immediately. Look closer. Oh. Granny. Me, Mum, Grandma Helen, Grandma's 80th. Mum wants me to pack up my room to get ready for the move next week. It's taken a while, but I'm pretty close. Just a few things left before I can cross off my to-do list. Oh shit. Uh, Jesus, it's a bit, oh, it's a bit uh, urgent. Sorry, I know this is annoying, but the sensitivity is up its own ass. Okay. Oh, the graphics are nice. Look at this! Who is this? Mum and Dad. Where Dad is. When Dad came back and visited. Oh. Take that. Friendship bracelet. Tess and Fran. Take that. Oh no! Oh fuck, I meant to I meant to look at that. Oh tits. We'll never know what that's from. <laughs> Liquid gold, the history of the Canadian American bootleg trade. And the secret fortunes left behind. Oh, is that a library book we didn't bring back? Oh, what a rebel. Jackpot gyms. Okay. I forgot it. <laughs> Uh. But happy belated birthday. Sorry for the lateness, Tess Bear, Tessa Bear. Things get away from me here, but they're always on, you're always on my mind. We'll call... Oh, Dad. Well, fuck off, Dad. <laughs> oh, it's a jar of pins. Right. Ah, Nevada. Home to all manner of folksy cryptids and cool dads. Oh, I didn't know we had voice acting. It's quite cool, isn't it? I guess if you like that sort of thing. That's Dad. The fun zone. Me and Dad, laser tag. Oh, I remember doing laser tag when I was at school. We were told not to run. And I did, and I went flying. 
fell down a slope. Bigfoot! I married Bigfoot, she's great. What? Uh, yeah, right, okay. <laughs> Aliens are here and they want your favourite recipes. Okay. Uh, right, yeah. Uh, search spots. Oh, yeah. The hunt for buried bootlegger treasure. Local myth or fortune. Local myth or fortune in hiding by Tess Divine. Oh, that's us. Prohibition in America was meant to stop people across the country from drinking alcohol in bars and their homes. But it achieved was creating a booming industry of illegal alcohol imports, especially from Canada. Much of this so called bootlegging was done in dead of night, firing barrel. Barrels. <laughs> Ferrying barrel. Ferrying barrels of alcohol across the border and huge sums of cash back to Canada. But much of this money was stashed, hidden, buried stateside by bootleggers for safekeeping until the coast was clear to bring it home. And some of that illicit treasure must have been left behind when bootleggers were arrested by the authorities or killed in underworld dealings gone wrong. The locations of these abandoned caches of riches must be lost to time, but hints and clues remain. My father and I spent many a summer vacation tracking down potential spots to search for this left behind bootleg of gold. None yet successful, but these local legends and the history behind them is fascinating to learn more. Ooh, that sounds quite a cool thing to do actually. Well, I think it is. I might be on my own on that one, but... Dinosaur. Pen Video Galaxy. Oh shit man. I'm pick I don't know if I'm supposed to pack everything, but I am doing. Got this. Oh my god, look at this computer! The graphics though! Are you looking at this? The graphics are fucking gorgeous! Work shit. Guess I'll have to pack this after my next shift. Hmm. Oh, we've still got a shift to do. Oh, bloody hell. Alright. Look at this! Oh my god. What's that? Hmm. Better leave these where Mom won't see them. Won't see them. <gasps> Why? Where's it going? From Detroit. I don't know where that is. Okay. Uh. Where she won't see them. Well, she's not going to see them. They're like sitting there on the desk. Oh. Oh, Granny. No. Oh. Chapstick. Is this? Oh, is that, uh, grades. Great improvement on chemistry. Uh, uh, not bad grades, you know. Better than I would have had. How much stuff do I actually have to pack? Do I have to pack everything? What is this? Invoice. The page design. Who knew it publishing? The Greenville High Gazette. Never forget Mark, Mark in the University of 9 11.
I hate PE class. Kids get it. kids can get in shape without a gym. Oh, I'm going to say so. I'm not reading all that. Oh, I'm moving day with sad. Clueless, oh jeez. What else have we got? Clue. Oh, it's got Tim Curry in it though. Six strangers are invited to a mysterious mansion for dinner. But when their host turns up dead, anyone and everyone becomes a suspect. Hey Tess, uh, we do a movie night at your place. Yes, we are. What movies are you bringing from work? Uh, comedy double feature night. I'll give you one clue as to which movies they are going to be. What is it? I already gave it to you. Tess, don't do this to me! <laughs> oh, I've got a rabbit over here. Mr. Beans! May you enjoy all the blessings of your coming year. Oh, Grandma. Not top drill? Yes, I did. Webby says, stay in school, kids. That's not like me. Oh, it's our yearbook. Class of 2003. Oh, my goodness. Next year we rule the school. Extra, extra, read all about it. It was awesome working with you on the newspaper this year. See you in the funny pages. Hey, bestie, wanted to make sure. Can't look at that writing. Like it just looks like, you know, it looks like someone actually handwritten it. Hey, bestie, wanted to make sure you wouldn't miss this message. Now, anybody else who signs this will know I'm your bestie, not them. <laughs> Let's have a great summer this summer. Movie night every night. Fancine. God, it feels like a million years ago when I was at school. Like, it feels like a thousand years. May as well be. Oh. It's that sideways one, because I'm the first to sign your crack. <laughs> oh, I like that. Nice. See you next year. Uh, Something about having an awesome summer, I think. Uh, what does that say? Pick up rest of room. Oh, I picked up everything. I put this in the bin. See anything else? A cable line there. Oh, pick up power strip. Oh, poster. Stars? I'm leaving them. I think we're good, guys. Go downstairs. Tez? Yeah? Come down to the basement. There's something I want to show you. The basement? Who was in the basement, Mother? What is it? Oh. Ooh, is that Mother? It's nothing, really. Well, she's nice. Remember, uh... This? Oh, my God. What the fuck yeah. is that? <laughs> what is that? What is that? Why do his eyes look like that? Oh, no. I mean, I love ugly dogs. I'm not being funny. I do. All dogs are lovely, even the fucking ugly ones with eyes like that. <laughs> what is it? I love it! <laughs> I love it! Where did this masterpiece come from? <laughs> 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 
Your Aunt August made it. When she was a kid. It's Lady, the dog we had when we were growing up. And Aunt August isn't a rich and famous artist now? <laughs> well, she is one of those things. Not uh, a famous artist, though. <laughs> oh. Why is she rich? <laughs> We've still got a little while before we actually move out, right? Like, a week? Yeah, about... The estate sale was... weird. Having all those people in the house, picking through grandma's stuff... Oh, but I hate that. I'm glad it's over. I would hate that. I don't trust my grandma's stuff, you're yeah, dead. Yeah, me too. Are you okay? Aww. Mom. Don't! I just... <sighs> we took care of your grandmother right oh, up to God, the end. Oh, God, no. And... Stop. And now they're selling the house out from under us. I know. Bastards! Wanna just... <sighs> Take a minute and look around and see what's left. I haven't really gone through everything since the sale ended. Yeah, me neither. That sounds really nice. Just looking through what's still here. Aside from this hell <laughs> picture. <laughs> amazing that no one bought it, right? Uh, uh, amazing. Just shocking. <laughs> uh, so you're all packed up, right? Good to go? Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> uh, just remember that it needs to be done by Wednesday so we can get everything out of here on time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. know. Most of Grandma Helen's stuff was sold off in the estate sale. Oh, Jesus. I haven't really had a chance to look around to see what's left. Oh, my. Listen. I'm going to say now I am, when it comes to anything to do with grandmothers. I am extremely sensitive. <laughs> I will blob like a baby. Guaranteed. I love my nan. She was the greatest person to ever live on the earth. Ooh, a fedora. Ooh, so dapper. Was this grandpa's? Well, I don't think it was grandma's. Graphics are fucking gorgeous! Fucking hell, everything looks real, like proper real. I fucking love this. I want it. What's this? Dear Millie! Millie, somewhere or other. No one gives advice like Millie. Oh, really? Millie. Uh, with her wit, wisdom, and in a, in a, ineffable tact, dear Millie has been a charming reader for 15 years. Found in newspapers nationwide, Millie Dale... Sorry, I can read. Millie doles out sage advice to over 5 million readers weekly. Gathered here for the first time in some of the most engaging responses from the sage of the Midwest. On matters of home, Parenting and romance. There's never been a question that Millie can't handle. Well, I'll give you a fucking question. Can I read? Some? I want to read one. Oh, I wish I could read somebody's questions. Because I'm fucking nosy. Grandma's advice column was popular, wasn't it? For a little while, oh, yeah. Oh, it was her that did it. I felt really lucky that I got to ask her for advice face to face. I remember when we went to that one book signing when I was a little kid. You remember that? Yeah. I mean... People in the audience seemed so excited and nervous to get to ask her their questions right there in person. Sometimes when I'd ask Grandma for advice, she'd start off with, Don't tell Millie, but... I think she saved her special advice for me. Hmm. Well, she could have given some advice to herself and realized that taking out three mortgages on her house All right, mother, not wasn't the time. such a good idea. Fucking hell. <laughs> not the fucking time. Anything in here that's worth looking at? I've got a oh my god, remember them? I don't use a calculator in a thousand years. Who the fuck is this? Grandpa Leo was a... An inspector for the county. What's that mean? 
He inspected things for the county. Oh, wow. <laughs> Great, <laughs> Mom. Thanks. <laughs> Commercial buildings, mostly. When we were driving around town, he'd point out the ones he'd inspected. I remember he was very proud of inspecting the department store. You know, the big one on Old Main Street? Every foot of electrical, fire sprinklers, alarm system, everything. He'd say he was the only thing keeping half the buildings in town from burning down. Electrical fires are no joke. Oh, look at him, look at that hair. Leo Lambros, age 43 of Orange Street, Greenville. Uh, he died July 28, 1968 at Alexandria Regional Hospital. He was a veteran of Second World War, serving as a surveyor with with the 173rd Field Artillery Battalion, scouting out enemy positions on the front lines. He later worked for Green County as a building inspector. Surviving are his wife, Helen, and his daughters, Opal and August. Funeral arrangements under the direction of... Okay. Lurking, got to check every nook and cranny. Oh, that's it. I don't see anything worth looking at. Fucking tins. Kind of pop. No. Why isn't this in the fridge getting cold? Come on, Mom. Yeah, come on, Mom. Diced tomatoes. All right. We did our best, but the results were. Ugh. That's what you need grandma's for. Glad I had you there to supervise my baby skills. Baking. Baby! <laughs> baby skills. <laughs> Fucking hell! I tell you, I am awful at reading other people's writing. Honestly. I could have said read. Well, yeah, very good. Wait, can I take that? No, put it back. Okay. I've got to take more pics with Francine this year. We're so oh, that's cute. Our maybe I should start carrying a camera around. Yeah, maybe hmm. you should. God, 2002. Wait, how old was I? 2002. I was 15. Fuck me. Who are these people? Mom's friends? Ah, uh, oh God. Dorothy and Nath Nathaniel I invite you to share in the joy. Ugh. Fucking joy. Fuck off. Keep your joy to yourself. I hate weddings. I'm sorry. I just do. The graphics! Sorry, I just. It fucking looks gorgeous. God, there's so much shit everywhere. I hate moving. It's the worst thing. Wow, was this... Was this taken right here? Cool. That's Grandpa? Mm-hmm. Probably only a year before he died. Of a heart attack? Yeah. No, he died sudden. young. But... I guess that's how heart attacks are. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry, Mum. Okay. 
Durstbuster. <sighs> Cigarettes, Mom! Ugh, Mom, please quit already. God, yeah, Mom. Don't smoke. My mum was a smoker and I spent probably every day of my childhood asking her to quit. Oh, how did this end up down here? Huh. Must have been in a drawer of something that got sold. This is from one of the first digs Dad and I went on. Oh, it was kind of adorable how excited you both got about going on those digs. I remember being so sure that we would actually find bootlegger gold. Or at least a clue about it. <laughs> Your dad. <sighs> well, at the very least, he certainly had a way of firing up your imagination. Mm. I'll give him that. What happened to dad? What's his story? What's the story there? I want all the gossip. I want the tea. I want the fucking all of it. I'm a nosy twat. Mm. So we didn't find any fucking treasure then, I guess. Pick up lumpy. <laughs> Lump, pick up lumpy malvolent pot. I guess we made that. Oh, we did. What? No one bought this masterpiece? Shocking, I know. I'm downright offended. Me too. I made this when I was, what, four? Four, at my ass. <laughs> Yeah, at that pottery demonstration <laughs> they did. They'd call little kids up from the audience and show them how to do it. I was I was so excited. I was jumping up and down, waving my hand, because I knew that Grandma likes pots. She kept it up on this display shelf with oh. all her other pieces all those years since you gave it to my her. My nan would always do that. Oh, stop oh, it! Honey. No, 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 it's no, okay. no! Not doing it. I'm not gonna be. I'm not. No, I'm keeping it. I... I think I'm gonna hold on to it. Keeping it. Grandma held on to it all this time. Oh god, stop it. She wouldn't have wanted me to throw it away. Every, th every single stupid, ugly, like, inexpensive little trinket or pot bear or something we bought our nan, she would put it on display, like, forever. She really treasured everything we gave her when we were kids. Oh my god. Is this grandma? Did grandma start dressing like this after you moved out of the house? Mm-hmm. After my father passed, my mother, well... <laughs> turned into a hippie. <laughs> a bit of a free spirit, let's say. Mm, hippie. Doesn't look like that rubbed off on August much. I think it might have. To push her in the opposite direction. Hmm. Oh God, the game is gorgeous! It is gorgeous! I'm gonna say it a thousand times until I annoy everybody, but it's gorgeous. What a tool! Wish I could like do something like that. Something with your hands and make something. I mean, I can't pick up every pot. Oh shit, I said something. Oh good, some of Grandma's pottery didn't get sold. I loved watching her at the potter's wheel when I was little. Had she been doing pottery her whole life? Honestly, I think it's something else she picked up after my dad passed. Like mm. the advice column? No, she was doing that since I was a kid. Did Grandma... Was she what? ever with anyone else? After Grandpa died? Probably not. Whoa, where did this come from? Well, she just seems so vivacious. You'd think some man would be interested. No! Yeah, no, I, not that I know of. I mean, it's kind of like, my, my nan lost um, my granddad early. And uh, she never remarried or... He was the love of her life, so there isn't anybody else. You know, that's just the way it is sometimes. I don't know what I'm supposed to do now, to be quite frank. Am I supposed to, like, just look at everything? 
Are we gonna leave yet? Oh, look. I'm taller than you were. Who's taller now? <laughs> you are. <laughs> but but I've still got time. Oh, you better hurry up then. How old are we supposed to be anyway? Well, last time it was done was 16. So we're like the same age. Well, in theory. It's just like 2002, the set. Oh, I don't know. Something like that. When I say we're the same age, as in... Now we would be the same age. If you know what I mean. Oh, hey. It's August. Ugh, exhausted. The state sale was a lot. But... <laughs> that's easy for you to say. Yeah, I remember. And the answer is still no. Oh, I... Well... The what? Oh, right. Right. Sorry, it hasn't exactly been at the front of my mind. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it's around here, somewhere. No, it's fine. Okay. Love you. Bye. That yeah, is great. Unbelievable. Indeed. What did she say? Nothing helpful. Is she still not going to help us with the house? No, probably no. Not. She was just calling to ask me to find some book of hers. Any idea where it could be? It must be upstairs somewhere, in your grandma's things. It has a red and black cover, white block lettering. I'll know it when I see it. Right. Okay, let's go. Uh, An August Cub mum looking for some book that's important to her for some reason, apparently. It's probably somewhere upstairs. Right, let's find this book. Go rooting through grandma's stuff. I'm not going to get emotional. That is not going to happen. That's our bedroom. Uh, okay now. Look at that mirror. Look at that mirror! <gasps> oh god, I'd love a mirror like that in my place. Really shiny gold. A farewell from Millie. Oh god. Dear readers, it's been a delight and an honour and a privilege to write to you over the years. Few people are lucky enough to say they love their job and I'm grateful to be one of them. I've learnt so much from all of you and I hope I might have taught you all a little something. Oh, I better do that actually. Uh, when I open your letters each week, I'm always struck by your passion, your drive to succeed and do better. We've talked about the worst of humanity and much more of the best. And you will always be an inspiration to me for the rest of my days. Even as this column comes to a close, I hope you'll still consider me a friend. Ah. Oh. Have you ever received advice on Millie? If you have, if you have a story of how Millie changed your life for the better, send a letter. Oh. Oh, somebody bought- And her typewriter. He said he was an advice columnist too, and Sorry. wanted to use them for his writing. He said your grandmother was a real inspiration. He left a very nice note. And a lot of money? Well, <laughs> it was just an old desk. But it had sentimental value! Well, to- For yeah. us, maybe. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and for him, obviously. Can I see the note? Sure. Opal, your mother has always been an inspiration, not just to me, but to an entire generation of writers and readers. I can't tell you how much peace she's brought me over the years to be able to write where she did. Well, I hope a little of her magic crosses over to me. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's really nice. Well, okay. I guess it's all right that he got it. <laughs> Glad you approve. Our mum is nice, you know. Just saying. I, I realised that letter said, um, 
a mum on it. You want to know something? Yeah. Your grandmother didn't write this. I did. You what? did? What's this conspiracy? That's cool. Well, the circumstances weren't cool. Oh dear. N no, but it was actually really hard. I needed a lot of help from our editor, but I got it done. I'm sure all her readers appreciated it. Yeah. Oh, uh, maybe because she wasn't able to do it at that time. Oh, that sucks ass, doesn't it? it? Sucks ass that you've got to lose people. I remember hiding in here with a flashlight to read my books when I was a little kid and we were visiting Grandma. And a box of crayons, apparently. We'd come to visit and I'd hunker down in here for hours. If some kind of game in my head, I guess. I'd be hiding in here, and I'd hear Grandma out there in her room, typing away or just reading in bed. I know she knew I was in there, but she'd always pretend not to know. And I'd pretend she had no idea I was hiding. I don't know why. I just liked the feeling of knowing she was out there. I have only slipped away into the next room, somewhere very near. Just around the corner. The poem you read at Grandma's funeral. Oh, for God's sake! Mm -hmm. I'm not going to survive this game without crying. I'm telling you now, I'm not going to survive. I am so overly sensitive when it comes to Grandma's. It's my one thing that gets me. Even now, there isn't a day that goes by where I don't miss my nan. <sighs> Guess we can get rid of these. What are they? Memento. <laughs> I don't know what they are. Anything in here? Nothing. Hmm. I thought there might have been something in her room. I guess not though. Oh, that's our room again. I'm gonna snip it in mom's room. I'm gonna. A fucking ugly bed. <laughs> hey, Ma! Oh, Jesus. Actually, maybe I should just put this back. No, I wanna read it. <laughs> fucking put it back my ass. Oh, Paul. Sorry to hear that mom's doing worse. I've been thinking about her a lot lately. I know this is a sore spot, so it's the last time I'll bring it up. I really wish you'd let me help with Mum's medical bills. I get that you'd rather have me there in person to help, but I just can't get away from work long enough to make that happen. I'm sorry that money is the only thing I can provide right now, but that's just the situation we're in. If you're stressed about everything you have to do, you can always send Tess down here for a weekend again. I love having her around. Oh, that's our aunt. Why does she not help then? What is the reason there? Because I don't think there's any reason good enough, to be honest. Like she should have come back and helped her sister. With her mother. There's always one. I am the very model of a modern major general. I la 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 da 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 mineral. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> yep, yeah, very good. Where is this elusive book? Hmm. What's this? Oh, it's a hook oh, pull attic. thing to pull down the hatch to the attic. That's where it'll be. Could August's book be up in the attic? With Grandma's things? Could be. Alright. 
We can go up there, but... You go first. Oh god, the dog's got the farts. Some evil. Oh god. I found a weird hook pole thing. <laughs> a weird hook pole thing. <laughs> what the heck? What the heck do you call these things anyway? Well, at any rate, I, I should be able to use this to pull down the steps to the attic. Yes. Go snooping in the attic. Where is the fucking attic? Whose room is it in? Oh, it's there. Walked straight past it. Okay, come on up! <coughs> Damn, it's dusty. Now, where's that book? Look at the graphics! What are these? What the fuck are they? Are they sweets? Oh. <laughs> are they sweets? Well, they fucking look like them to me. <laughs> no, it kills something. I don't know what a mothball is. I mean, does it kill moths? So as a guess. Oh, I'm not that. What the fuck are these? What the living ass? Okay, well this is just creepy stuff. Yeah, well. That's Why are these up here? Because they're creepy. They were downstairs. Uh, point made. Good point. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> that weird ugly dog. That chair. Bowling trophy. Who's this? Oh! Grandpa Leo was a bowler? He and Dad have that in common. What do you mean? Dad loves bowling. No, he doesn't. But he's uh, always wearing those bowling shirts. Didn't he used to be in a league or something? <laughs> Honey, he just thinks those shirts make him look hip. Oh, don't say hip, Bowling mother. shirts? Uh, are you kidding? Are you kidding? I thought he must have so much bowling pride that he wore those shirts around in spite of them being obviously not cool. Yeah. No, no. They're definitely a fashion statement. I think he got the idea from that movie, Swingers. Oh, this explains so much. Yeah. Like why you never once saw him actually bowl? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I mean, you think. Whoa. Grandma's wedding dress? Oh my god. I wore it on my wedding day, too. And you can no, wear it when you get married. not getting married. It's a con. <sighs> No. I'm not getting married. I'm not getting married. <laughs> you don't know that. I do. Did you know you were going to get married when you were my age? What? Sure. Or I always thought I would. Well, no. I know too. And I know I'm not. Don't need it. I'm a lone wolf. Well, not, not quite a lone wolf, but... Uh, what's the point of getting married if you love someone it doesn't change anything? Agreed. Marriage is an institution based on women being property. Marriage is an institution based on women being property. I'm having no part of it. You know when people get engaged, only the woman wears an engagement ring? It shows that the man has claimed well, you, maybe or back it's then. like, don't touch this, it's mine. <laughs> and women used to not be able to buy a car or a house unless their husband gave them permission. I'm my own person. If I have the yeah. money, I should be able to buy a car. Agreed. Well, women can now. Well, yeah, that is also but true. it's what the institution represents. I'm not getting married. I'm my own beast. I don't want to be thought of in relation to anyone else. That's how you feel now, but you might change your <laughs> mind when the time comes. You know, also, also if you don't be get married, you can't get divorced. Yeah, also true. So, that's a plus. Agreed. Are you saying you wish your father and I had never gotten married? Well, no, because then you we would You know wouldn't you be... wouldn't be here yeah, right yeah, now yeah, yeah, if yeah, we yeah, hadn't. Yeah. We know that. Oh, don't even get me started on having kids. Yeah, yeah. And anyway, you can have kids without getting married. Yeah, also so true. you're not getting married. You're not having kids. You've got your whole life figured out at age 16. Yeah. You don't want the dress. I get it. 
I mean, but it's a nice dress. Well, that was it meant a lot to Grandma. And to you. Doesn't mean I have to wear Isn't it at a wedding. Enough? That fucking hell. Like, this isn't a tradition. I'm not going to be forced to get married just so I can wear this damn dress. Not everybody. We're not all the same. We don't all want to get married. A piece of paper. It doesn't mean anything. No. Stick your traditional dress up your ass. I don't want it. Also, I might not want to wear a dress. I might want to wear a fucking suit. Who knows? I might want to get married to a woman. We don't know. There's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of assumptions going on. I don't see this fucking book. Oh. Ah. What's under here? Uh, here. Let me grab that. I'll put it up here to look through. Ah! Oh, I thought she was mm. gonna sneak it off. Yeah, there's a bunch of old stuff in here. But uh, mom, hold on. Oh. It might still be here. Somewhere. There's a secret compartment, guys. There's something. Ah, here it is. I've had a lot of caffeine. Maybe if your dad had read this, he wouldn't have stopped working at the video store. Mom! <sighs> What's in there? Okay. Forgot about August's book. We found a weird suitcase in a secret compartment in the attic. Did Grandma Helen hide it here? There. Why? The answers may lie within. See, I find it bizarre calling her Grandma Helen. I know... I mean, most people have two grandmas. I mean, I grew up with only one. The other one, I didn't know until I was 18, and then I wish I didn't. <laughs> um, but, like, so the one I, I, I adore that raised me, I would call Nan. I, I would call Nan, my Nan, but the other one I would just say Grandma. It's really, I couldn't imagine just saying her name. I couldn't, I just couldn't imagine it. Like, it just sounds so weird to say Grandma Helen. Like, she doesn't have a name. She's Grandma. <laughs> She's just Grandma. Okay. That's Grandma and Granddad. And uh, them two. Oh, there she's, look. Writing. Ah, oh, this is just some junk from the old summer house. Your family had a summer house? Well, it was more of a cottage, I guess. We spent the summers up there for a long time. And you've never taken me to visit? Well, I haven't been there since I was your age. We just stopped going one summer. The summer after my dad died. I think there were just too many memories there. Oh my god. What? Aren't you seeing it? What? Seeing what? Right here! Behind them? That's a freshly covered hole. Uh-huh. It's obviously the location of the buried bootlegger gold. Oh, for God's sake. In our backyard, you mean? Indubitably. <laughs> Lady probably buried a bone there. Yeah, probably. Dogs, Wait, do dogs don't do, really that? do that. Ah. Only cartoon dogs do that. Well, that's what I said. Only cartoon dogs bury bones, but real-life bootleggers bury gold in people's backyards? In 1968? Yep. It was a different time, Mother. Yeah, Mother. Sure. Dogs don't actually bury bones. I've never, ever, 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 ever seen or witnessed a dog buried a bone. What are you then? We've got a cat. Oh my god, look at that! Oh no! Oh fucking hell, I meant to piss in. What was that? I wanted to look closer. Is that grandma? As a hippie? The fuck? Cool van, funky van, hit van, groovy van. <laughs> groovy van! Groovy van? <laughs> I did love that van. The engine died for good while we were visiting the summer home, and so I just turned it into my bedroom after that. <laughs> awesome. You slept in a broken down van? Are you kidding? I would love well, that. Well, the summer house was small, and I always had to share a bedroom with August. Oh, yeah. When I realized I could have my own space just by <laughs> sleeping out in the van, it was a no-brainer. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah. Did you, like, that. redo it to be, like, a bedroom inside? Yeah. Your grandfather pulled the seats out for me and I set up a little bed frame with a mattress and all sorts of posters and pillows and shelves and things like that. <laughs> awesome. Wow, that's actually cool. Could I do that? With our car? No! No! 
<laughs> For God's sake. Uh, custody by uh, Greenville Police. Another burglary last night in what state police are investigating as a series of crimes carried out by a single organised group. Once again, there were no signs of forced entry and nearly all of the valuable jewellery was taken. Over 100,000 worth of merchandise. Local Girl Scout sick trip to the boot. Uh, okay. Oh dear Millie. Recently, uh, a close personal friend of mine confided in me that she's having an affair on her husband. I love them both dearly and I'm not sure if it's better to let the husband know or keep the wife secret. <gasps> oh god. Okay. Uh, situations like these are painful for everyone involved. There's never an easy out. Keep in mind that this is her secret to keep and not yours. Keep your loyalties where they lie. Uh, dear Millie, I know you promised never to share your oatmeal. <laughs> okay. Whoa, there was a crime spree? Oh yeah. Yeah, department stores and fancy clothing shops. Places kept getting robbed. The police couldn't figure out how the crooks were pulling it off. It went on for, well, I mean, it felt like months. So what happened? Did they get caught? Now that, I don't remember. Mm. Post card. We'll be together soon. I love you. And we're going to live our new life together. Free and happy. What the fuck? <laughs> well, whoever this guy was, it sure seems like he and Grandma had something pretty intense going on. No. Was Grandma Helen... No. In some kind of secret relationship. Cheating on Grandma. No! No! In some kind of secret relationship? No! Not the Helen I knew. <gasps> Intrigue! No! I'm not Grandma, having... what were you up to? Grandma was doing no such thing. What the fuck is all this? Recently, one of my daughters gave me a tremendous shock. She's married. Oh. Apparently, her college beau and her tied the knot without my knowledge, oh dear. She claims that they wanted to skip the wedding to save up for a house. But I'm very hurt by her exclusion. She knows that I have dreamed of a big wedding for a long time. How can I convince her that a marriage founded in secrecy will never last? How about you mind your fucking business, miffed mother-in-law? <laughs> uh. Editor's note, Millie is a character. Put it together. Oh, shit. Uh, answer one, dear Mift. Uh, half the battle of being a parent is allowing your children to make their own mistakes. Only time will tell if the marriage will stick, and the only thing you can do is make the best of it. Consider the weight your daughter's been under, keeping this under wraps. We all have our secrets, myself included. Uh -oh. And to not be able to tell even our closest loved ones can feel absolutely suffocating. While it can be hard to see a child make such a foolish mistake, the best thing a mother can do is bite her tongue. Agreed. Mind your fucking business. People, you've got to let your kids make mistakes and learn from them. You can't, like, shield them from absolutely everything in the universe. Question two. My husband rekindled a relationship with his high school crush. Uh, a girl he hadn't seen since his Air Force days. They're both married and he told me they're just friends. Against my better judgement, I supported it, and they started spending more and more time together. Well, I should have trusted my gut, coming home early from the grocery shopping. I caught them in the act! <gasps> now I'm at a loss. My friend says get divorced. My mother says to stay together for the children. What, what can I do? You don't stay together for the children. That is the ultimate big mistake that never works out. It is the worst reason to stay with somebody. The worst reason. Divorce. 
Divorce! Nothing's harder than having your marriage fall apart before your eyes. Uh, trust me, I know. It's hard to say what's worse, the sense of betrayal or the realisation you've been, you've been had. Divorce is a tricky subject, no doubt about it. I'll tell you one thing though, there's always time to start anew. Abandonment and freedom are two sides of a coin. Uh, yes, editors note, no newspaper will allow you to argue for divorce. Uh. Okay now. Hmm. Rocks. Uh, homemade more oh, no. Imitation job really. Weird little rocks. Hmm. Ah, these little stones were from the stream near the summer house. You painted them? Me in August. The rocks from the stream were so smooth, but I forget why we painted them. <laughs> you were really that bored, huh? There weren't many TV channels back then. <laughs> Tragic. <laughs> Grandma's sunglasses? Vintage. Can I keep them? You think they're your style? Yeah. Sure. Just be careful with them. I'll guard them with my life. Right then. Grandma's diary? Read it! Actually, no, probably should not. We? Oh, I, I don't no. think we should really... Oh, Grandma wouldn't have cared. <laughs> I'm dead. What difference does it make to me? I can hear her saying it now. <laughs> <sighs> oh, no. Now, look. Me and my uh, mother, when my nan died... We found she, my nan never had a diary, but she kept one for she kept a diary one year, and that was the year uh, she got diagnosed with breast cancer. I mean, she she survived breast cancer and she had bowel cancer, and then she still survived. But the year she had um, breast cancer way back, she kept a diary that year, and then we found it when she died in her room, and we read it. And I'm telling you now, we wish we hadn't, because we were both in tears by the end, and there were things written in it that we didn't really want to read um if you find a diary from someone that you've lost don't read it just don't don't read it it was awful we wish we'd never read it but we're going to win this because we have to <laughs> and i'm also a bit nosy <sighs> okay okay it's aren't any help they think they're being good neighbours, but if anyone shouldn't know where the path of good intentions leads, it's these church ladies. The children carry on best that they can. Opal is caught up in her own teenage dramas as usual, almost as if it were any normal summer. August does worry me a bit. She's becoming caught more and more in her imagination. I wish I could help her, but there's so much I can't say. It's becoming a challenge, keeping my correspondence with... Ooh, someone... Uh, concealed. It's all an only matter of time till we're together again, in person. But to hold it all inside, not tell a soul, it's almost too much. But he knows and I know. Soon enough the waiting will be over and this will all be in the rear view. <gasps> Postcard. Uh, Washington. Uh, the space. Writing, is it? Forget about the past. Leo's dead. All that matters now is our future together. What? 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 <gasps> There's a secret key! What is this? God, I'm so fucking nosy. So, Grandma and this guy were definitely together before Grandpa died? And they were gonna run away oh, together? No. You never heard about this? No, this is- and, and what is this key to? Why is it hidden in here? Something at the summer home, I assume. I... Okay, well, now we've got to go check the whole place out. Agreed. No, I don't care about the bootleg of gold. I care about the drama. <laughs> the goss. The grandma's secret life. To find out who this mystery man was. Don't you want to know? 
I don't know, Tess. I, we still have so much to do around here. Bollocks! Come on. It'll be fun. Uh, yeah, Mom. An adventure. Let your hair down. I still need to call Tina at the theater and finish cleaning up the fridge. Fuck Come the fridge. Come on. <laughs> we never get to do stuff yeah, together. Yeah, Mom. You spend all your time at the theater, and I spend all my time in school. Let's bond. When, when was the last time we were able to do something? Yeah, agreed. To talk. Yeah, agreed. Well... You do want to know, don't you? Of course she does. I can see it, Mom. I can see it in your face. <laughs> God, the dog's you know, farts. a little change of scenery would be nah, nice. That's the spirit. Ha, that's the spirit. Yeah, that's what I said. We could spare a weekend before we have to move for yeah. a little road trip, right? Yeah. To tie up some a loose ends. A little teeny-weeny one. Right. And some of those uh, little towns along the way are great for antiquing. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's a deal. Let's hit the road and see what we find. Oh, I like this. We could really use a break from all this, even yeah. if it's just for a weekend. Pack your overnight bag. Yes. Yes! And bring your homework. I don't oh. need you falling behind at school. Mom! What about August? Fuck book? August and a bloody book. We can FedEx it to her when we get back. Agreed. Okay. A road trip! Yes. This is gonna be great. I'm excited. Oh, I like this. Yeah, I like this. I read some weird... I read some, like, dodgy reviews, actually. But I'm loving this. Are you kidding me? This is right up my back alley. We're on the road to the secret summer home to find out what's the deal with Grandma Helen's mysterious man. Who knows what we may find? It will be a while before we get there, though. That's alright. Well, I like a road trip. Yeah. What in here? What highway are we on anyway? Oh, this is the old two lane north route from before there was a freeway. <laughs> it used to be the main route north, but now it's pretty off the beaten path. It's the way we always took to get up to the summer place when I was growing up, though. So I wanted to take it again. Hmm. Kind of desolate. Kind of nice. It's nice out here. Peaceful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Used to be a lot more cars on the road, and little shops and towns along the way. But with all the traffic going up the freeway now, everything kind of died off. directions actually registration oh I don't want to read that oh my god look at that phone fuck off that is hilarious is that it oh text me back when you're around that phone is hilarious. Look at the fucking aerial on it. Which you only ever used to chew on. I did. Quick and stop. What do we buy? Gum. Chips. Cherry fizzed. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, and I'll pop. Got a purse. Poke. What are you doing back there? Are you going to do your homework? No. No. Reading in the car makes me car sick. Uh, me too, actually. Then what are you messing with back there? I'm being nosy. So stop it. It's not safe. Well, I'm not driving. Why is it not safe? I'm not driving. You fanny. Sorry. Fuck's sake, mother. Just so, just unclench. When did you say the last time you were at this summer house was? Oh, when I was, I guess, 15? Your age? Oh, we're 15. I'm yeah. 16. Oh. <laughs> I meant about your age. <laughs> so a long time ago. So a super long time ago. <laughs> so a super long time ago. Wow. 
No one's been there since, like, the 19th century. <laughs> ha ha. What was the Industrial Revolution like? Oh my god. <laughs> Tess, I wouldn't know. Did you ever meet Galileo? Oh my god, or I... <laughs> Jesus, how old do you think I am? I mean, I'm just estimating. It, it's a rough estimate. It's a rough estimate. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say. It was the 60s, I think, summer of 68. Oh, oh great song. Sixty-eight. Some of sixty-eight. So, you like, thirty-five years ago. And you say you're bad at math. What was it like? The summer house. And the dark ages, but yeah, the summer house. <laughs> <laughs> I just always really liked it there. It was an escape. From what? Life. Everything, I guess. School, town, same old. Every day just felt like it was ours when we were there. Hmm, I can understand that. Yeah, so why did we never go? Sounds really nice. So why did we never go? I don't know. It was somewhere I always associated with being a kid. Yeah, but what about taking your own kids? Yeah, out? we stopped going as a family when I was your age, and then I went off to college, and then married your father. Did Dad even know about this place? I can't imagine Dad passing up a free summer home where he could just hang out and do nothing all day. Yeah. So you're saying your father is lazy? Yep. He's a man of leisure. Is that what that phrase means? <laughs> what else would it mean? He likes relaxing. He sure does. It's probably why I never mentioned it to him. Because I knew he would never have put in the work to actually fix it up so we could use it. Ah. Uh. It needed a lot of work? Well, not last I saw it, but being unoccupied for decades, out there in the middle of nowhere, it's got to be falling apart. Uh, yeah, you're right, that sucks. Yeah, you're right. That sucks. I was hoping maybe we could fix it up. And use it as a vacation home? <laughs> We're about to be kicked out of our actual home. What would we need a vacation home for? To live in? <laughs> to live in? Yeah. Tess, I, I'm sorry, it's... You couldn't live there, and not, not year-round. Why right. not? Well, it doesn't have central heat, or even really insulation. It's a summer home, not a winter home. No. Yeah. Tess. Well, yeah, it's better than not having a home at all. Fine. Then where are we going to live? I don't know yet. We're gonna be living in this car, aren't we? No. Just like when you lived in that van. We can find an apartment. How are you even going to pay for an apartment? Oh my god, The it's theater not company, uh, you know. I thought you said it was underwater. Well, you know, it's not doing great, but... Mom. What? When are you going to give up on the theater? Give up on it? I'm responsible for keeping it running. For our performers and our audience and all those kids they bring to the theater on field trips. <sighs> well, but how are we going to have money? It's not working, it's not working. Things will pick up. Oh, God. Ever since 9-11. Oh, my God, Mom. <laughs> this theory. Theater going has plummeted. Yeah, on Broadway. You think people are staying in because they're afraid of terrorism in Greenville? Well, it's a know, national trend. You sound ridiculous. I don't think she sounds that well, ridiculous. Well, maybe I am ridiculous. Yeah, maybe you are. Oh, jeez. <sighs> well, this fucking road trip's going well. It was easier when your dad was still around. At least we had more than just my income to work with. Yeah, where is he? And then he goes and runs off. Oh, what a fuck. Well, have you asked Dad if he could send back some money? To help? That's Absolutely just... not. Oh, because she's too proud. <laughs> he, he doesn't have the money. Oh, how do you know? But Dad moved out west for work. <laughs> well, no. don't laugh at me. I guess we don't know the I'm not. Story. I'm not. It's just work. Sure. It, it wasn't for work? Is he just a then, bum? then what was it then? I think I deserve to know. 
If he hasn't told you his side of the story, I'm not going to step in and take that responsibility you fucking are, for him. Like I always did. You're fucking out. Your I want to know. Your father left me in a hell of a situation. I want to know the truth. We made all these decisions together. Do you not understand that? We made decisions that depended on us both, you know, sticking around. I didn't plan for any of this. <laughs> you idealize your father, you know that? And I just <sighs> don't really want to talk about it right now. Well, Fine. okay, fair Let's enough. Let's never talk about it. Let's never talk about anything important. Oh my god, stop it. <laughs> Fucking hell, teenagers. What? Yes, I heard that. Hey, kiddo. Was in the was in mid of a biz to go. Oh, wait a minute! What fucking father talks like that? Was in the mid of a biz negotiation. Jesus Christ! What sort? Of... Hey, Dad. What sort? Of... Not much at work right now, but good to hear from you. What is he? Some sort of illiterate? Oh, I don't. I'm sorry. Even when I was when we first had mobile phones, you you abbreviated certain words because you got charged. But like, I I never used to write like that in a text. It makes you sound like an illiterate fucking ass. How's work going? Good, making money. Oh, you fuck, you liar. Would you be able to send some <gasps> money back to help me and mum? Oh, no, she's going to kill us. She's going to actually kill us. She's going to boot us out of this moving car. I don't know if mum told you, but we are moving out next week. I think it's going to be hard for mum to pay for rent at a new place and stuff like that. Do you think you could send some money back to help? I'd love to, kid, but right now my liquid assets are all tied up in reinvesting at work. If I sent enough back, that could help. You're worth a damn. Uh, without it sinking my business out here, you know I would, but your mum's always been the smart one. She'll figure things out. Well, thanks. Fucking useless. Okay. You understand, right? Punk. Oh, just fuck off no I don't like this don't give me don't pumpkin me and all this shit kiddo crap no I don't did you tell your mum you bought the tickets oh jeez not yet me and mum actually on a road trip right now we are investigating a family mystery and going to her old summer house can you believe it wow you need to tell her you need to tell her kiddo or else I will and you know she would freak Okay, okay. I promise I will. I know you will. Love you. I actually have to get back to it now. Show your mum now. I'm sorry. I just don't like. I don't like the dad. No, don't love you. <laughs> no, don't. Are you sending text messages to someone? No. Oh, I can't lie to mother. I can't lie to me mother. Yes. Yes, I am. To who? It's to whom? No, it's not. Mother? No one says whom. It was dad. Hmm. <laughs> Just getting his side of the story, huh? No. Uh. Don't you tell no about the comment. money. It's all right. Having a common enemy can help bring people together. <laughs> You're not my enemy. Or dad's. Sometimes it feels that way. Your loyalty well, should be it's... with your mother. I'm not supposed to. I mean, you got a nice mother, I mean, because she is nice. Oh, I'm invested. Oh my god, what the fuck is this? Oh, fucking hell, she wasn't wrong. Mom! My god. The fuck Are you Jesus. okay? I just didn't think it would still be here. Mm, don't fucking look um, like it is. Mom, it... Well, it is. Barely. <laughs> and it looks to be surprisingly well-preserved. What? Well, it's... Well, it's not just like I remember it. <laughs> A little more... What? 
of the dumb. <laughs> Run down? Weathered. Than the last time I was here. That's one way to put it. But I guess I am too. You're not weathered. Look at her. You want to start looking around? Fucking weathered. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Where do I even start? This isn't exactly what I pictured when Mum said they had a summer home, but it's still pretty cool in a retro way. There's probably lots of cool old stuff inside from when Mum was a teen. And hopefully some clues to the identity of Grandma Helen's mystery man. Oh, look at these graphics. They look really nice. Oh, God. I wish I had a summer home. Out right in the middle of fucking nowhere. This van. I'm getting in that fucking van. It's the last thing I do. Can I get in? It's your groovy van. <laughs> and it's locked. Boo. Gotta keep all the groovy stuff in there secure. Please tell me the keys are somewhere. I need to see what a lava lamp looks like after it just sits there mutating for 30 years. <laughs> they might have been... Mutating. Hmm. I can't remember. Don't do this to me, Mother. I have to see how much tie-dye is in there. Please. <laughs> oh, August was always trying to steal my keys so she could get in there and mess with my stuff. They're probably in her room. Okay. Oh, the little criminal! All right, I'm on the case. The groovy stuff is so close, I can taste it. Mm. The van that mom turned into her bedroom when she was a teen is still sitting here, but it's locked. She says the keys might be stashed in August's room. Well then. But this place is barely fucking standing. Let me just look outside here first while I go inside. It's kind of sad though, like all the memories in this place, and this is kind of what it's. Oh, look, there's a kennel. Oh, it's gorgeous out here. What was that? Gaze at Vista. It's out there. Somewhere. What is? That buried bootleg of oh, gold. Oh, for God's sake. Uh huh. Bigfoot, too, I hear. Mm. Do you think he found the gold already? No. What makes you so sure Bigfoot's a he? Yeah, yeah, true. Oh, I love it. Equal opportunity cryptids. Very forward thinking. Mm. It's 2003, Tess. Anyone can be a Bigfoot. <laughs> Alright. I see something there. What's in here? That's just August's old room. Let's try and find some other way in. I just did and it was locked. Can't get into August's room from the outside. Maybe there's another way in. Oh. You mean from the inside? Well, is. Alright, we go in. Is this, uh. Is this a trailer home? It's a mobile home. What did I just say? <laughs> They're not the same thing. <laughs> a trailer home hooks up to the back of a truck and can be towed around. You can take it from place to place. A mobile home arrives on a trailer. Wait a minute. Like towed by a big truck. Go on. <sighs> a mobile home doesn't have wheels. So how is it a mobile, mobile well, why home? Why didn't you just say that? Well, I, I will admit, it took me a moment to untangle Wait, the nuances. Wait, that doesn't make any sense! A mobile home is mobile. Or am I missing the fucking point? Isn't a mobile home... You know what? Okay, Mom. The fucking Jesus. Oh my giddy fucking ass! What is all this?! It's literally... Not changed since the 70s. Oh my word. What in the living arse? Where do I even start? That fucking dog look. Christ, look at this. A sat in the corner of the room. 
Lord above. Okay. Christ. Anything I can click on the telly. Oh my word. Oh, wait, it's a letter. <laughs> so fucking nosy. Opal! I'm having so much fun. It's a total blast out here. Really, you have to come. I know you're out on your little summer house every year with your family, but I really think you should consider working at the park with me next year. It's all people our age running the rides and concessions and games. Plus, when the park closes, you can ride the rides as much as you want, as much as you want, as long as whoever's running it isn't a jerk. Promise you'll come with me next summer. How are things out in the sticks? Are you still working at that drive-in? If you don't have any luck with guys out there, wait until you come out here. The guys are unreal, oh Jesus. I've seen stuff that would make your hair curl. I don't want to know! Say hi to your family from me. I'm going to write you every week, just like last year, so don't forget to write back. Your friend who's having lots of fun <laughs> and wants you here desperately. Mom, you know what it sounds like. You had a Francine. Well, everyone had a best mate. <laughs> I guess I did. What kind of I've never heard of Lori before. Are you still in touch with her? It was short for Dolores. Maybe you've heard me talk about my old friend Dolores? No, I don't think so. Hmm. I mean, we haven't spoken in years. One of those friends you have in high school and then college happens and, you know. It's never going to happen in the event suit. Well, listen, we all say that. I, I'm not friends with anyone. I was, at, I was best mates at school. I, I don't know him. You all go your separate ways. Funny, I remember my mum saying the same thing to me. Like, when you fall out with mates, and, like, and my mum was like, look, when you finish school, you're not going to stay in touch. Like, you just don't. I mean, well, I guess, I mean, there are, obviously, exceptions to that rule, obviously. But for the sake of being positive, I'm going to say That's that. never going to happen with me and Francine. We'll still be friends when I'm as old as you. Cut. A very long time from now. <laughs> like, so long from <laughs> All now. Alright. Wait. You're not implying I'm old? She's only... No. That's of course so, not. I can't make it out. But God, it's going to be a long time from now. Oh my God. Now. Cheeky shit. Although when you're 15, I suppose your parents seem really old at that age. I've got here. You're invited to what? August 18th. Okay. To where? Oh, Cindy and Mark's. No thanks, Cindy and Mark. Darling, I know I'm running from I know I'm running from something, but I have never felt so free. I just crossed the border and I'm writing you from the desk in a room at a motel that's hidden off a little side road, far from the main throughway. There's more driving to do before I find us a little place to settle down. But before long I'll have a return address for you to write back. Don't miss me too much. <sighs> oh my god, mother coming in, look at this! Well, would you look at this? A postcard from the mystery man. What was he running from? Oh, the fucking law. The fucking law. The cops? For what? What do you think? Stealing. Stealing? Grandma's heart? Oh, fuck off. <laughs> no, stop it. Okay, no, stop yes. it, stop giggling. It wasn't funny. Ooh. The plot thickens. Okay, but imagine this place done up. I could live in it. Okay. 
that's not in its current fucking state. I didn't notice the footsteps change on the carpet. <laughs> it's the little things. Lots of old magazines. Oh, look at that. Car. Oh, what I'm talking about. Sheesh, what happened here? Looks like the wall gave way. Water damage, I guess. What is this thing? It's the water heater. Oh, that, that's why you said water damage. I get it, I'm following along. <laughs> well, it's not going anywhere now. Can we climb over it? No! God, look at all that rusty metal. Ah. I'm up on my tetanus shots, aren't I? We're not risking it. <laughs> that's funny, actually. Well, what's that thingy back there? Thingy? Mm, it's a maintenance hatch for getting down into the crawl space under the house. Is there any other way into the crawl space? I think there's a way to get in from around the back. Why are you acting so excited? <laughs> well, if we could exciting. get into the crawl space, we could climb back up out of that hatch and get over to that side of the mobile home to find more stuff. Yeah. I'm not sure why you're using the plural here. <laughs> and also, I really want to see if there's any cool, creepy stuff under there. Me too. Like a skeleton. Oh Listen, my god. You can give it a peek if you want, but there is no way I'm crawling under there with you. Yeah, good. You're on fine. your own. Yeah, alright. Hey, no problem. More cool, creepy stuff for me. Honestly, this is reminding me so much of things. I remember being, I don't know, I must have been her age, and I was at the park and there was lots of rusty metal and I was climbing over it. And I cut myself really deep. I still got a massive scar on my ankle. And I, I cut myself so deep, it, it wasn't even any blood at first, it was just all white. Just a little fun fact for you. <laughs> but I had also ha or had my tetanus shot. Get your fucking shots! If you go rummage around through rusty metal. Oh shit, I should have read that. Uh, Fuki water heater fell through the wall and we can't get around it. Uh, there's a weird hat. Oh yeah. Right. I'm enjoying this. Saint Benedict. Uh, what's Fallout? Don't get discouraged. Don't get panicky. Follow these simple rules. Prepare a shelter area in your home or backyard where you can live in a big city or country. Stop your... Wine. August's new friend by August Divine. August's dad left her a special tie. It was a red tie and it had special powers. When August wore the special tie, she met her friend Nightshade. Nightshade lived in the shadows and would always be there to help. Wait a minute, what the fuck is this? He was August's friend who would never go away. Why does that sound really sinister? Mom! <laughs> Nightshade? It was because he could only come out at night. Or stay it in the shade. Sounds creepy. As I remember it. Okay, well that's spooky as hell. Agreed. August was just a kid. She needed someone to talk no, to. No, that's fucking weird. Did it have to be a freaky imaginary friend who lurked yeah. in the shadows? I mean, what that. about you or Grandma Helen? Well, I was a teenager. I don't think I was the most, I don't know, compassionate at that age. Ah. I had my own problems. I see. If I had a little sister and Dad died, I'd be there for her to talk to. Oof. It's different. You don't know what having a little sister is like. It's probably annoying. Are you I trying guess. to say you were justified in not helping your little sister when she was grieving after her father died? I helped. I did. I mean, we were all there for each other, but... It's not as simple as that. I could have used more help, too. <clears throat> yeah. I don't think I had anything left to give. It's not that so easy August to So August made a new friend for herself. One who would always listen. It just sounds sinister, though. You can't put it all on her to be the one that fucking fixes everything. She's grieving herself, you know? Locked. Damn it. Maybe the little key? From Grandma's diary? Mm. Nope. Oh. 
What secrets might you hold, little drawer? We'll never know. I found a lot drawn on the desk in the living room. But the key from Grandma's diary didn't open it. Maybe find another key. Well, I will certainly try. What the fuck? What the fuck is this? Oh, look at this big pink guy. It's red. <laughs> Kurt won that for me. At the fair. It was Kurt. Kurt? We, well, we met at the drive-in diner. Uh. <gasps> you had a summer fling? <laughs> I, well, was he cute? I thought he was very handsome. And he rode a motorcycle. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. A bad boy? Oh, it, dog. <laughs> well, honestly, I fell for him pretty hard that summer. It was pretty, uh, cool on his motorcycle. <laughs> he was very romantic. Oh, no. <laughs> no, not like that. What? Mothers have well, sex? What's the matter with you? That. Oh, no. <laughs> So, what happened? Did you break up with him, or...? Ugh, I don't remember. It was just a summer thing, it doesn't really uh, matter. Ah, she remembers! Wow. Did I hit a nerve? Yeah. Hey, maybe we should keep looking around for more relevant things? This is relevant. <laughs> Backstory. We need to know these things. The fucking gun in here! Vegetable garden. Well, it was. Did you do these with Grandma? No, August did. I never had a green thumb. She loved helping my mother in the garden. Really? Why do you say it like that? I don't know. Can you picture August getting her hands dirty out in the garden now? <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> but if my mother was ever out in the garden, she was out there with her, helping the best she could. I remember one year, maybe when she was six, she started crying so hard when it came time to pick the berries and vegetables. But the plants worked so hard <laughs> growing them. You can't just take them. Oh, that's really sweet. Aww. Well, now I feel bad for the plants. No, I don't. She was a <laughs> sensitive kid. So am I. Mm. So what happened? Hmm? To August. She doesn't seem so sensitive Life. now. Oh. Yeah, see? Life happened, I guess. Life. That's what happens. That's what happens. Ah. So, this is how we get into the crawl space? You keep saying we. <laughs> so, this is how intrepid people with an innate sense of curiosity get into the crawl space? <laughs> Among other personality traits, yes. Fine then, I'll go it alone. Go You're probably then. too frail to get in here anyway. <laughs> Those creaky knees of yours. <laughs> wow. Okay, into the filthy crawl space you go. <laughs> See you on the other side. And you might. The fucking nightshade will get us. Glad this isn't a horror game, otherwise I'd be fucking nervous. Crawl spaces. I, why do why do American homes have crawl spaces? Because we don't have crawl spaces here, and they're freaky as fuck. Did you ever watch that film, that horror film, where the kids go and visit their grandparents for the summer? Oh, it's so fucking scary, and it's filmed like from a camera, like she, the the the, the sister. It's like filming a documentary and she films it all. It's so fucking creepy. Ooh, this is good. Mom's gotta see this. Not until I read it. Uh, this space from... Okay. I'm writing you for my new home, right on the water. 
I was looking and looking and I realised there's no better home for us than one we could just pull up anchor and split if we really needed to. So I bought us a houseboat. Oh god, I love a houseboat. It's really something else. Bought it from an, old, an older fellow who'd kept it perfect and was just done having to maintain it in his autumn years. There's a rumour they're going to dam this river up, but that's a long way coming, if it, if it happens at all. Now, just... Now, just to get you and those kids moving up here, I hope it's been a good summer, right back, discreetly, and let's make plans for the big move. Something I've learned since Leo died is that being loaded with cash is the only way to live. Get ready to leave all your worries behind. Oh, jeez. <gasps> what the fuck? That's a fucking house mansion. That's not a house boat. Look at that! That's not a houseboat! Oh no, I want to live on it. Oh, are you serious? I want that. Oh no. What the fuck is that? Oh. Cool. in here. What did we... What's there, you fanny? Mom, I found a way in. Hang on, I'll open the back door. Hey, Mom? I found something. Look, look! Another letter. He wanted to live with Grandma on a boat? Maybe we can figure out where the boat was by looking at the photo. It yeah. looks like... Well... That doesn't say it looks like a boat. A <laughs> houseboat. Hmm. Can't see much of the surrounding area. It's near trees. Wow. Maybe we can look for some of those. What? Place in Canada with trees. Yeah. That narrows it down. <laughs> that won't take five thousand years. The amount of trees Canada's got. Cut about two hours drive. Oh. What's this about? Oh, that was the town where Kurt lived. You know, we were a summer thing, but we were planning on how we could keep seeing each other once we both went home after the summer. I guess I was feeling pretty lost. I latched on to him and held on tight. He became my plan for how I would be okay. Oh boy. And. That didn't work out? Obviously not. Yeah, like these things often do. So how'd you end up with Dad? Sorry? Well, you didn't end up with Kurt. How'd you end up with Dad? Oh, it was a lot of years later that I met your dad. After college, I moved back to Greenville for my bookkeeping job. It was, it was actually when I was in one of the first plays I performed in at the Andromeda. Your dad was in the audience. He hung around outside the stage door after the show and he flagged me down. He said there was a problem with the production. He was so distracted by my beauty oh, that he couldn't pay attention to anything else going on in the play. Okay. <laughs> well, we're not gonna say that's lame. Like, let's not be, let's not be mean. Aw, that's so romantic. It's like something out of a rom-com. I've I found it endearing at the time. He was very persistent. Was Dad big into local theater? Uh, no. He told me later that he'd actually been at the play ah! on a date with someone else. Wow. He told her he needed to head home, then hung around the theater to talk to me. What a bastard. <laughs> wow. Bold. No, not bold. Did you find that endearing? I guess at the time I found it flattering no and a little funny <laughs> i should have realized it was a red flag ah you should have done that yes we're not um no no look as much as i love a bit of gossip oh 
do I want to ask that though? I feel like we shouldn't go there. I feel like she probably said that. No. So, not the kind of thing Kurt would have done? Oh, I don't know. Oh. Go mechanics! Oh man, I forgot that August had this. I let her keep it when I moved into the van. But August didn't even go to Ford State. She almost did. We were both so excited to, growing up. Don't you remember Grandma talking about how much she loved it? I remember her talking about how sexist it was. Mm. Yeah, well, everything was sexist back then. But we're a Ford State family! You'll be a triple legacy! Oh, fuck. Uh... Well, no... I'm not gonna be a triple legacy. I don't even know if I want to go to college. What do you mean you don't know if you want to go to college? Of course you're going. Oh I can make my own choices. You're 15. What kind of choice is that? To be broke? I'm not gonna be broke. I've been working really hard on my design business. And August didn't go to college. August was lucky. She's talented, but she's oh, also so I'm not talented. When I'm 18. Look, I, I don't want to talk about this anymore. It's not a discussion. It fucking I is. <laughs> well, howdy there. What's your name, buddy? <laughs> no video games back then, I guess. Yeah. Poor, deprived kids. <laughs> Test your skills of memory and retention with this fun matching game. Select corresponding pieces to clear the board and win. A novel travelling game for all ages. Oh gee, that sounds fucking boring. Ah! Is that for the, uh, the van? I don't know if I'm taking it. Aha! Uh -huh. This must be the key to the van! Oh, how fun! Wait, did they not get to use these? Hayride. Showtime Drive-In Theater. Oh my god, Aunt August. But I have so oh many Oh no, you've got to be kidding me. That's never a good sign. Dear August, you were upset after what happened today and that's alright. You need a time to yourself instead of talking to me and that's alright too. But, but upset as you are, you need to remember. Boys only tease girls because they... Uh, because they like them, or because they're different. You cannot control the cruelty of others, but you can discourage it through your own appearance. What? And behaviour to learn to play along. It's time to go out now. Wait a minute! What does that mean? You cannot control the cruelty of others, but you can discourage it through your own appearance. So what you're saying is, if someone's really cruel to you and mean to you, you can, you, sh you should change your appearance to something they would approve of. What? No, we don't do that here on this channel, thank you. No, how about not be a total cock? No, that's the wrong advice. That's, that's, no, I'm sorry, I don't approve of that advice at all. That sounds backwards. Ah, thank you! Yes! No! Yeah, I don't agree. I do not agree. Uh, I don't know if I agree with this advice. No, don't agree. This doesn't sound very... Millie to me. No, it doesn't. Not at all. Millie was just a character, honey. I, I know, but didn't she usually give advice Grandma would have given? How could you tell a little kid that getting picked on was their own fault? Yes, thank you. I don't know if that's what she meant. Yeah, that's exactly what she it's meant. It's right here. She's like, if people are mean to you, you should change. 
What, the bullies are right? Yeah. She never told me that kind of thing when girls were being mean to me at school. She just told me to be myself. Yeah, but that's it's kind of different. Well, maybe if Mother could have gone back and given August the advice she gave you instead, I, she yeah. would have. Yeah. I hope so. Well, because like with grandmas, I think like my experience with my nan would be different from my mum's. My mum remembered her being very strict, um, but with with us, she couldn't have been less strict. Like she wasn't strict in the slightest. Because you learn, you you want to do better with your grandkids. Do you know what I mean? Than you did with your kid. You you you, you know you've made mistakes and then you learn from them. So I agree with her there. You know. Okay, waiting sets, very good. Oh, we've got a trowel. Wait a minute. Van. Oh, next to the doghouse, there's a, a, a summit buried. <laughs> I'd recognize that penmanship anywhere. This piece was clearly done by an accomplished artist. Yes. A cartographic prodigy. Do you think there'd be anything there to dig up that was left behind? It'd be like a time capsule. Maybe she was going to come back for it later. It was her first investment. <laughs> she got started early. I don't know. Let's just go see what it is. I found a map to a buried treasure in the August room. Could it be the fabled bootlegger gold? No, probably not. But it might be something cool. The X marks the spot near the doghouse. Oh god, this is another creepy fucking demented note. The Mean Boys by August Divine. One day August rode her bike to town because of how sunny it was. Because it was sunny, her friend Nightshade had to follow behind under the trees because he lives in the shade and shadows and can't go in the sun. August laughed as Nightshade ran along under the trees and she and Nightshade made jokes together. When August and Nightshade got to the town, there were boys outside the general store. They saw August's special tie that made her safe, but it didn't make her safe from... Oh no, from what? Oh, I don't like this. From them. The mean boys came closer. They said, who are you talking to? What are you wearing, stupid? August said, my dad's tie. The mean boys said, your dad must be stupid. August was crying, but the mean boys didn't care. They laughed and laughed. August looked for Nightshade, but Nightshade couldn't help, because he was trapped in the shade under the tree far away. When the mean boys went away, August went under the tree with Nightshade. August's special tie was all dirty. She gave Nightshade a hug to feel better, but it didn't help enough. Oh, that's so sad! Like, her sister really had... I know, like, her mum was also grieving too, but her, it sounds like her little sister just had nobody. She was grieving the death of the father. Her mother was obviously... Her, her mother was obviously going through her grieving, and her sister also. And I felt like she was kind of left behind to just sort of pick up the pieces by herself, and that's awful. That's sad. That's genuinely sad. Right, we've got the keys to the van. I still haven't found a key to that fucking desk thing. I suppose it could be in the in the van. Okay, can we go out here now? Mm. Right, uh, we're going to. I want to dig in this spot. Oh god, it stinks in here. Dog's got the fucking farts. You ready to unearth this mystery? You are really getting into the mess on this trip. Yeah. Crawling through old crawl spaces, digging in the dirt. Yeah. It's for the sake of the adventure, Mom. Don't let me stop you. Yeah, good. What is it? The fuck is this? Oh, it's a special tie. Oh, it's a special tie. Oh no. 
That's really sad. Goodbye, Nightshade. Thank you for being my friend. I'll miss you. Mm. So this is where August buried her feelings. Wow. Mom! Come on, it's sad. It is sad. Fucking stop it! What? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we should keep it. Yeah. Maybe August would want it. Maybe she would. I think so. I think so too. We can just put it in the car. Welcome back, Nightshade. Don't lock up your feelings, guys. Get therapy! Turns out the real treasure was the friends we made along the way. JK, it was actually the grave of August's imaginary friend, Nightshade. I kind of feel bad for disturbing it. I don't know, you know. I think it might be quite cathartic. Shouldn't keep things buried. Alright, I'm getting into this fucking van now. See how groovy this van was? Oh, it's everything I'd imagined. Is it? It's got an ugly lamp, an acoustic guitar, a concerning scent of mold? I mean, what do you expect? It's been under this carport for 30 years. <laughs> Agreed. That's why I'm not coming inside. Oh, come on, Mom. Okay, I'll just look around and get out. It is kind of gross in here. You're telling me she wouldn't be curious. What the fuck is that? Death of wow. a salesman. Mom was even into theater back then. Huh. Um, school for school. I have no idea what either of these are. I'm gonna do theater. Wow. Brutal, Lori. Brutal. Wait, don't, don't, don't spoil it. But I haven't read it yet. Kind of fair. Dear Opal. Are you getting my letters? I haven't heard from you since you told me about... <coughs> Sorry, <laughs> my voice broke. My balls are dropping! I haven't heard from you since you told me about Kurt. Oh dear. I've been writing you every week. Things at the park are lame. All the fun people left and now it's just me. Gordon! Oh my god, my dad's called Gordon. And the dorks from Sand Sandusky. If I don't get anything back, I'm just going to assume you're too preoccupied with Kurt to write to me. At least one of us is having fun. I'll talk to you when school starts, I guess, unless I'm too busy. Oh, God. That, I mean, that's fair. You shouldn't abandon... That, that's, see, that's the thing I hate. I hate... I mean, when I was a kid, I was interested in girls, so I wasn't interested in boys. Um, Because, I mean, I was a girl, by the way, when I was at school. <laughs> um, And, like, if your friends... But that would happen all the time. Like, your bestie would, like, I don't know, start seeing a boy or be interested in a boy. And then that would be it. You wouldn't see him. And it sucks. Especially when you're, like, 16. Like, it feels like, I don't know. Look at that lamp. You're a rascal driver. Take that. Holy oh, shit. <laughs> wait, wait. Babe, this summer's been real out there, but I've got to split. I'm not hip. I'm not hip to another winter with snow. I'm on my bike, headed to Cali. Look me up if you ever are out that way. Oh, wow. That's a fucking kick in the fucking arse, isn't it? What a cunt. Oh, she really liked him. Although, mm. murder at the Montague Manor. Okay, no idea what that is either. That guitar. Out else in here? We've got a screwdriver. I wonder if that's to get in the desk. I don't think there's anything else in there, is there? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, some fucking manual. Okay, about that. I think that's it. Oh shit. How was the stuff? Groovy as you'd hoped? Mm. Well, I found, um... Oh boy. 
Oh, did we save? Because she said she didn't want to... Oh, my God. She... I mean, she must have guessed it might be summer in there. Oh, let's this... be honest. You guys didn't just drift apart at the end of the summer, did you? No, he was a no. cock. I came to work at the diner one night, and they said someone had left a note for me. Wow, we didn't even see, we didn't even see this her. stupid thing. <laughs> that sucks, Mom. That really does suck. I just felt like such an idiot. You're not an idiot. I put all my energy into plans, planning how we'd be able to stay together, planning how our life was going to be, planning how he'd be the answer for how I was going to be okay. Well... And then one day, this... Don't put your happiness on. I don't one know person. if I've ever also. cried as much as I did for the week after I got this. He seems like maybe he just wanted something different than you. <laughs> well, he could have told me that. Instead, he just played along, told me what I wanted to hear. Well, yeah, because until he wants to one get day pants. it was just goodbye. Not even face to face, just this selfish little note. Yeah. And he was gone. There was a lesson I should have learned that summer. What? You can't rely on other people. Yeah. What? If you put your trust in other people, if you expect them to be there for you, one day they won't be. Oh, for God's sake. I mean, I, I know what she's saying. In a in a sort of roundabout way, I, I I truly believe you shouldn't put your don't put your happiness on someone else ever. Be happy by yourself, always. You it's so dangerous to put your happiness on that one person. You should never do it. But um. So what? You shouldn't have friends or relationships. Well, no, I just mean, you can care about other people, but you have to be ready for them to go away. And be okay on your own when they do. Mm. Are you... You're making it sound like... Are you saying Dad left you? I thought you said you both agreed to get divorced. She said a lot of things <clears throat> that haven't been true. Well, either way, he's not here, is he? Mom, what happened? With you and Dad splitting up. He always makes it sound like... Like you wanted him to leave, but... He does? Oh dear. I, I mean, I... If he's telling you I wanted this, I... <laughs> oh dear. See? This is why you need to be okay on your own. Yeah, I think I am okay. If you're I fine am. on your own, when they leave, you don't have to feel this way. Remember that. Oh, fucking hell. Um, I also found this little screwdriver. Oh, okay. That might come in handy. It might. Crack into that fucking desk drawer. Which is what I'm about to do. What? How do I use my screwdriver then? Oh my god. Fucking keys hey, here! Could it be the key for the locked no, drawer all in the Grandma's time. desk? It very well could be. Only one way to find out. What the fuck? That was there the whole time. What the fuck was the screwdriver for then? Darling, I've been driving up and down the highways and byways looking for the perfect spot. Somewhere secluded, where no one would think to look. With a little bit of space, and I know you always liked a place near the water, I'll find something soon. Just keep biding your time and don't let on. Pub. By Ohio Illustrating. Johnny Appleseed. Ah. Oh. Aha! They were really gonna run away together, huh? He thought so anyway. Whoever he was. Why do you think Grandma decided not to run off with him? Well, maybe she just came to her senses. 
She could have gotten swept up in all the emotions and everything after father died, and then when the time came, she thought better of it. Mm. Maybe. Or... Or what? Maybe he thought better of it. I don't know. Maybe he thought better of it. Like, maybe he met somebody else. Somebody who caught his eye while he was on the run. Somebody without, like, kids and responsibilities and stuff. Could be. I'd just be a little surprised. He seemed quite... devoted. Mm. Now what? Oh, I missed... I missed all this! Do you remember... Well, did it seem like... Grandma wanted to... Leave my father? I mean... Hmm... I guess when I was around your age, I started wondering why they were together in the first place. Wow. They didn't seem to... Be happy. Make sense together? Yeah. Mm. Huh. I remember when I started wondering that about you and Dad. Why you were together. You're both so different. Did you used to have more in common? Um, well, when you're together at first, everything about each other is new. It can cover up a lot of things. But when you get used to each other, that's when it can be hard. But sometimes, you know, by that point, it's too late. Too late. Oh dear. Because you have a kid? Well, that can be one factor. So you think you and Dad would have split up a lot sooner if I wasn't around? I... Well, I'm sorry I held everything up, okay? Maybe you would have been happier if... If you hadn't been stuck with Dad for so long. Oh, jeez. Honey, that's not how it is. It's not as simple as that. And it's not because of you. There's... There's a lot more to it. We'll talk about it someday. When's someday? Not today. Then when? <sighs> Not today. Oh. That was where I came up, I see. Arse. What's in here? That was my mom and dad's room. Well, just my mom's room last we were here. Look, I think I could twist this open from the inside ah. with that little screwdriver I found. Yes. Hey, good work. Thanks, Mom. Ooh, look at this furniture. Well, oh, I kind of like it. Looks like a pile of shit in the corner room. Oh, God, holy fucking Bible. Jeez, put that back. Darling, now wait. It sounds like someone's getting cold feet all of a sudden. Uh. We had a plan. Leo dies. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! We had a plan. Leo dies, I make tracks for the border, and when the dust settles, you follow me. This doesn't work if only one of us makes tracks. I've got everything you could ever hope for up here. A place of our own, a quiet little town where nobody knows our names, and a pile of cash that will keep us going till who knows when. The kids will love it too. What kid wouldn't want to live on a boat? Get these silly ideas out of your head, get back on track, and we'll be together soon. <gasps> what? Wait, no, they didn't kill him, did they? Because that sounds like, I mean, unless he was ill, and they knew he was ill. Oh, I don't know, you know. Would you have loved living on a boat? <laughs> I don't think so. I, I wonder what age he thought I was. He couldn't have thought a teenage girl would want to... What I would have done. I, I hadn't even thought of that. My mother was just going to take me and August, and we were all going to run off to Canada? 
I mean, of course she wasn't just gonna leave us behind, but... Sounds like Grandma had some big plans worked up. Well, look, he said she started having cold feet. And she must have written him back and said she wasn't sure if she could come after all. You think she realized that maybe her kids wouldn't have been so happy moving onto a boat with some random man in Canada? Probably. Can I start calling him Canada Man? <laughs> you can call him whatever you want. Thanks. This is so strange. Mm. Love makes you do crazy things. Love or grief? Ah! Both? Grief. I don't think it was love. I think it exactly how her mom is with, was with Kurt. It's grief. That's what it was. God, look at this desk. Oh, my mom loved this desk. I remember when she brought it home from the flea market. Jeez, how many desks did Grandma have? A few. <sighs> uh, kind of a lot, I guess. I mean, she was a writer. She liked to move around. Well, let's see what she was hiding in here. Ugh, it's locked. Fuck's sake! Hmm. What? This gives me an idea. Ah, uh, what? Ah! The little key? From Grandma's diary? <gasps> right! With our deepest sympathies. Helen, so sorry to hear about your loss. Please let me know if there's anything we can do. The Saltzmans. Our thoughts, our condolences, our thoughts are with you, Janet and Michael. Oh. Helen, you can't just leave me here. I did all this for you. All for you. And those are my kids too! <sighs> what? What in the fucking Jeremy Kyle is this? What? Pierre? What the fuck? What the fuck? What's that? What? I'm sorry. What? What indeed? What does he mean? When he says those are his kids. What do you think he means? Uh, I... Well, was Grandpa Leo not <gasps> your real dad? Oh. I... The plot Could thickens. that have been why he was trying to run away with you in August and Grandma Helen? Wow. I can't even imagine. Look, look, Mom. Look. Oh my god. This one. This note. It has a return address. Pierre Lautrec, Box 9, Hop to Lake, Carndale, Ontario. We should go check it out. What? No. Yes. No? But... Tess, we already drove however many hours oh up boy. here and dug around getting dirty and all this stuff. I'm not driving us to Canada based on some... Return address from over 30 years ago. All right, calm we down. We have the rest of the house to pack up, and I still need to call the electric company to schedule our end of the service, oh, which geez. I probably should have done sooner. And Mom, <laughs> stop. Breathe. This is your father we're talking about here. It's about who you really are. This is your father we're talking about here. It's about who you really are. It's about who I really am. Was my grandfather really my grandfather? Who oh. was this guy? Who who no. are we? These are big questions, Mom, and you're just gonna turn around and drive home? We can't drive to Canada. Okay, listen. Yes. <laughs> hey, I, I'm not doing this because of your sterling rhetorical skills. You didn't win this one. I just happen to agree with you. I do want to know who my mother might have been mixed up with and, and why she never told me about it. And who my real father is. And if we go check out this address, we might find nothing. But we might find something. Hmm. So if one more day of driving is all it takes to find out one way or the other... Then why not, right? Right. 
glad I could convince you. No, you just happened to be right. <laughs> exactly. Glad you came around to see things my way in the end. Okay. Should we get going? It's getting dark. Is yeah. It? Let's find somewhere to stay for the night. We'll look up directions. Get back on the road in the morning. Hotel night. We're getting room service. Thank you, Mom. Best weekend ever. But we didn't find that hidden fortune you were so excited about. Well... Yeah... Maybe it's on the other side of the border. <laughs> Maybe. Come on, let's get out of here. What the heck? <laughs> Is this Pierre Lutrec guy, Mom's real dad? Scandal! We found an address for some place in Canada. We've got to go check it out. Time to hit the road. We leave then, I guess. Now, what is this? During the summers when we'd come here, I had a summer job as a waitress at the drive-in. On roller skates? Like in the movies? <laughs> yeah, I guess. And those movies were based on reality, you know. We're not going to tell our mother. She's like a dog. She didn't. Are you serious? You are cute. Oh, I don't know. Now, oh, please, Mom, stop. You were cute then, and you're a uh, hot mom now. Agreed. She's a hot mom. <laughs> what? I said it. Stop. According to the boys at school, you are my hot mom. You didn't know about this? What? No. I am not. What? Oh yeah, no, it's it's great. It's great having all the boys at school talking about how hot your mom is. It's great. <laughs> Regardless, this photo of you is real neat and I think we should keep it. Agreed. Sure, why not? You're young, idealistic, and you trust easily. You have an open heart and a lot of pain to heal. Don't let someone who has more f flash than substance take advantage of that. Oh, what? Precious stone? This was to you? Subtle, right? <sighs> My mother was against me and Kurt being together from the start. To be fair, I would go off to who knows where with him and sometimes not come back till the morning. Now I understand how worried she must have been as a mother. Mm. <gasps> you were a bad kid? Mm. Do you ever thank your lucky stars I'm not a bad kid? I don't know. You and Francine can stay up pretty late. Oh. <laughs> Playing The Sims and eating oh pizza rolls. God. <laughs> yeah, you kids are wild these days. Playing The Sims. Sims wasn't even around when I was a kid. It was nothing. Okay, I think we're done. Time to order that room service. Uh... Mom. This is not the kind of place that has a room service. I'm sorry. What? what Hotels do? do room service. This is a motel. Just like the summer place was a mobile home and not a trailer. Right. But the other way around. But there's a restaurant and lounge right next door, though. Oh, right. Well, let's go. I'm gonna go. head down there and get us dinner, okay? And I'm going to have a cocktail while I wait. It's been a long day. Good for you. I'll be back with something to eat soon. Well, all right. That's almost like room service. What do you want to eat? 
Oh. Um, burger? Yeah, agreed. Um, burger it is. Do your homework. Oh, God. I knew I shouldn't have brought my backpack on this trip. Now mum expects me to do my homework. Well, I guess there's not much else to do. Cooped up in this hotel room. Coffee. Oh, how lovely. Dirt flavored water. No thanks. Well, you're not wrong. I fucking hate coffee. Decaffeinated. Dad, hey Tessa Bear. Oh jeez. Hope you had a good day. Busy with some work late tonight, but we'll talk to you tomorrow. Thinking of you always. Uh, hi, Dad. What's up, Tessa Bear? Nothing. Just gonna cross the can the Canada border soon. Wanted to say hi. Canada? What for? We found some clues in Grandma and Grandpa's old summer house, and we think there might be more to find at another place across the border. We're gonna check it out. Tess. Are you hunting for bootlegger gold without me? <laughs> no! Maybe. We're gonna see what we find. Can't wait to hold about it once you're back and to get my cut of the action. I can't wait to talk to you too. I had a question. It's about you and mum. I feel a bomber incoming. <laughs> but okay. Well, you always said Mum wanted you to leave, and that's why you're not living with us anymore. But Mum said you were the one that wanted to leave, so I'm confused. She said that, huh? Well, I'd say it was a mutual... No, it wasn't. You're lying. But I had a big opportunity out here, and I had to... <gasps> wow. So he had a... What a cock. I understand why your mum didn't want to come along, and that's okay. So you just left? Why does everyone make bad choices in this game? That's why you left home and quit Video Galaxy and everything. It's not the same without you here. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I know that's a dad, but that's fucked up. Ha, huh, I'm sure the story's even better without me. Who wants, who wants their dad as their boss? But you've made the store so fun. The window displays and the Halloween costume contest and movie quote trivia, the new manager is just boring. So what is your big opportunity out there? Well, you know I headed out here for a new biz adventure and I'm in the investment stage. Oh, no he's probably not. He's probably a bum. Can't wait to tell you more about it, but just wouldn't feel comfortable till I know it's going to pan out. Oh, I just fucking getting irked by him. Just want to make sure everything's perfect for when I tell- No you don't, because you're fucking lying! <laughs> Remember when you were little and you worked on that book you drew for me for weeks and wouldn't let me peek at it until it was all done? Stop patronising me. I've still got- I've still got that book right here with me, and you didn't want me to see it till you had it all perfect. This is just like that. You still have that? I feel like we're missing the point. <laughs> Yeah, I'd never part with it. Oh, right, okay. I just don't want to disappoint you by jumping the gun. You understand? No. No. No, fuck off. Got to get back to it. What, are your bum lifestyle? You're not doing anything. No, I don't love you. Don't like him. <laughs> I just think there's something fishy. I don't think he's got an opportunity out there. I think he's doing fucking nothing. Hey Frankie, we survived the abandoned summer home. And how haunted was it? Very. <laughs> uh, OMG, how many ghosts did you see? Nothing but ghosts, the place has packed... F nothing but ghosts, the place was packed full of them. Damn, I want to see a ghost. Speaking of spooky, how did your mum react to telling her about Nevada? Oh god. Shut up! I didn't tell her. Why are you so obsessed with that? You need to tell her. What if she doesn't want... What if she doesn't let you go? I'm gonna. And she will let me go. Just do it now. Okay, I will when it's the right time. When? I don't know! So, did you find what you were looking for? Um, yes and no. 
We are heading to Canada tomorrow. Okay. What? Yeah, we found some stuff about who my grandpa might have really been. We're going to see if we can find out more about him. Okay. What? You might be part Canadian? Yeah, quarter. <laughs> quarter maple syrup running through my blood. I'll call and tell you about it when we're home. Reception out here is bad. We're in a weird little motel for the night. Oh, I get to choose. Oh, fucking hell, I didn't realise all those other blue messages. You could choose a response, because I could have I could have told our dad to fuck off. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I mean, it kind of sucks, but... I'm going to say it sucks. <laughs> it's old and smelly. It's old and smells like mildew, and there's not even room service. Okay. How uncivilised. Okay. We'll have, uh, well, have you looked around the motel room? Is there anything weird in there? Probably. If I find anything weird, I'll tell you about it. Why was that an option? I want to say about the weird stuff in here. I should text mess. I should message and find out if I find anything interesting. Fucking size of that TV emote. Ooh, a visitor's oh. guide. Oh. Um. <laughs> There's a brochure about things to do near here. What you got there? Sailing, a bridge, farm festival, historic downtown. What's so historic about downtown? Mostly that it's old, I'm guessing. Wow, sounds incredible. Yeah, a lot to do before we leave. <laughs> try not to have too much fun. Well, fucking try. Oh god, we're right in there. Well, I don't see anything uh, weird. I just found some pills in my one suitcase. Oh, I should have looked at the options. Fucking hell. Ooh, what kind? Fluoxetine. I don't know what that is. Yeah, me neither. Maybe stop snooping in on stuff. Yeah, probably. Keep texting her. Oh, my mum's sleep shirt. What's the sleep shirt? <laughs> At some point, adults get them. They are from a concert or college. Which is this? My mum's college. That's cool. I don't know. I think I might go right to work after high school. My mum would explode, though. You're going to hate this. What? Your mum is right. You should go to college. You can do your ideas after. It's expensive. Instead, I could have a pool. Okay. What? So, it's education or a pool? Yes, and I choose pool. Okay. I, will, I will shut up, but you should go. Okay. You're too smart. You need to show them. Well... Why did I text Francine about towels? Oh yeah, definitely stealing these. I don't understand about a text about towels. I bought my towel from home. Okay. What? My own towel. It's named Dr. Softness. Okay. Oh no, honey. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's soft, it's pretty. It's mine. It's soft. It's soft as a bird. Okay. Aren't all towels soft? Fine, okay. Look, I don't want to use my towel towels. Okay. Continue. I mean, they were just hanging here when we got here. Okay. Yeah, they just cleaned them and hung them for you. Did they? Okay. Yes. I don't like not knowing. Okay. If you want to be worried about motels, I have one word for you. Okay. She. <laughs> no! 
Fucking hell. Now I'm going to be worried about the fucking sheets. Where's my mother? Uh, let's do how wet then. Let's be good. Hey, it's burger time. How's that homework coming along? Fine. Fine. How was the restaurant? Ugh, overpriced. But I guess that's the price you pay for convenience. Here's your burger. Give it Thanks. me. Thanks. Enjoy. I'm gonna call August. Tell her I said hi. August? Guess where I am? At a motel in Poetan. <laughs> Tess and I took a little road trip. She says hi. We paid a visit to the old summer house. You remember the summer house? Mobile home. Yes, it's still there. Anyway, we came away with some questions about mom and dad. This burger is my rival and I will defeat it. <laughs> oh yes, oh god, I wish I had that right now. I'm eating it all. I'm eating it all. Lo, I have vanquished a mighty burger. <laughs> I just... Do you think... Could Dad have... <sighs> yeah, she's here. Hold on. Oh, jeez. She wants to talk to you. I'm going out for a smoke. Back in a few. What? Why me? Hello, Teresa. Hello. Hi, Aunt August. This is all... It's pretty crazy, huh? Hmm. Yeah, that's one word for it. How do you feel about it? Oh, fine. <laughs> I think it's pretty depressing. I think it's pretty exciting. Yeah. I mean, it's a bigger deal for you and Mom. I just think... I don't know, it's just kind of... It's like seeing a whole new side of Grandma. Now that she's gone. Yeah, I was still pretty young when our dad died, so... I think it's a lot harder on your mom than on me. Mm, I, I never... really knew him. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's alright. I've spent enough on therapy to almost be over it. Did you guys find anything out there? I haven't been since we were kids. We found your old friend, Nightshade. Oh, Nightshade. I'd forgotten about him. Kind of a spooky name. <laughs> yeah, I was a spooky kid. You know, our dad dying really did shake me up. Nightshade was to try and fill that void, I guess. Yeah. That must have been hard. Yeah. What about the house? What was it like? It, uh... It was pretty beat up. Yeah. I'm surprised it was still standing. I'm surprised it was still standing. I guess part of me hoped we could just move out there. <laughs> move out there? Oh my gosh. You're breaking my heart. You'd rather live in the middle of nowhere than in Chicago? What? Yeah, With what? With me, in the townhouse. Didn't your mom say? No. No? What about mom? Can can she stay with you? Of course. Both of you. But she what? doesn't want to. Why? Mm -hmm. Oh, for God's she... sake. <sighs> Look, you should talk to her about it. It isn't my place. Why didn't... Oh, hold on. Work is calling. Uh, I gotta go. Love you, Teresa. Why didn't mom say Love anything? Love you too, August. She would rather like us go around homeless than go and live... In Chicago? No, we're going to Chicago. Hey, I've got to help my dad with dinner. Have a good drive to Canada. Don't let the moose bite. Uh, what? 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 
Increased turnout on the Domida. Improved word of mouth. What t-shirts. Posters in local schools. Actors to write to give lectures. She says she's going to help with dinner. I'm not texting. Anything else in there? No. Yo. Oh. And Jocelyn is looking at him, and it's so obvious that she forgot her line, and of course she did, because she only got off book a few days before, and he's just staring at her. Uh-huh. And Todd needs her to say it, otherwise the whole scene makes no sense, and it's dead quiet. It's opening night! And so then, she just says, Who are you? The Pirate of Penzance? Uh... Tess? What? Are you <laughs> even listening to what I'm saying? No. Yeah... Pirates of the Caribbean, I'm listening. If you want to just drive quietly for a while, that's fine. I can do that. This drive is so freaking boring. I wonder what's going on with Dad and Fancy. <laughs> Wait, where's my cell phone? Did I leave it in my backpack? Oh shit. Oh no. What? My cell phone. I left my cell phone at the hotel. No, it was in your pocket. Are you sure? Yes, I looked everywhere. It's not in the glove box. It's not in my backpack. I, I don't have the charger either. I, I must have left it on the charger at the hotel. Oh. <laughs> I need my phone. I need my phone. Tess, we have been driving for over an hour already. We are not driving all the way back to the motel just so you can have your phone for one day. You don't understand! Uh... It God. might be gone if we don't go back for it. I'm sure it'll be in the motel lost and found. We can pick it up on the way home. Mom, we have to turn around. We haven't been driving for an hour. We Yes, can... we have. We left one hour and... 18 minutes ago. Well, we can drive faster on the way back. How? I am not breaking the speed limit and getting pulled over and getting a ticket because you can't wait till tonight to get out. No, I, I wouldn't have left my phone there if it wasn't for you. You, you, you were lying to oh, me. Oh no, stop And I was it. so distracted. And now, and now you won't even go back and... Hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I was lying to you? When was I lying to you? Ah, oh, you didn't tell me we could stay with you August. You didn't tell me we could stay with August. <sighs> Why would you just lie to me and say August was unwilling to help us? Yeah. I didn't... I didn't lie. You did? I, she doesn't want to help. Helping would be buying the house, and when I asked, no. she said no. But she offered to let us stay with her. And I said no. There's a million reasons why that's a bad idea. Well, give me one. <laughs> At least we'd be sleeping in a bed and not a car. We aren't gonna sleep in the car. I'll figure something out. Aren't you concerned? We have no plan. You have no plan. I have a plan. I... Money might be tight, but it's not like I don't have a job. <sighs> if you and Dad were together, where do you think we'd be right now? Well, it's not, well, we, well, well, they're not, so it's a relevant question. Why don't you like August? Excuse me? Where did you get that idea? Well, you always act like she's a pain when she's just trying to help. It's like you're well, jealous of her. No. First of all, I am not jealous of her. It's a lot easier to make money when you live by yourself. Especially if you're so far away. Your own family is an afterthought. I had to do all the work for Grandma. August just stayed in Chicago. You're making her sound so selfish. She's not like that. Well, You've never lived with her, Tess. It's not going to be like your little vacation. August thinks she knows what's best for everyone. I can't be around someone like that every day. Wow. I can't imagine what that feels like. But Do you think you're the only person with problems and the rest of us are just running around doing whatever? You're exhausting. <gasps> no wonder Dad left. Don't bring your dad no, into that's this. This Why is annoying not? me now. Why can't we talk about dad? Actually talk about She's dad She's being a once. fucking brat. The divorce? The... I don't want to have this discussion She's blaming her right mom now. for everything. That's Fine. unfair. You don't want to have this discussion? I'll just find out when I go to Nevada. What? 
when I see Dad when I go next month. You're not going to Nevada next month. Yes, I am. I already have the tickets. What do you mean? With what money? From my business, I'm going- From your business. I can't believe you. That you would go behind my back? No. Oh, if you just told me what was happening, I wouldn't have to. I wouldn't have to ask Dad to tell me the truth. The truth? Please. Oh, so that's what this is all about, huh? You want to know what's the truth? Well, I'm Fine. not sure I do. Here's the truth. The divorce wasn't mutual. I divorced him. Uh... You... Your father announced he was going to Reno to become a full-time gambler and expected me to say, Oh, sure, honey. Feel free to abandon me and my daughter and dying mother to try out your next get-rich-quick scheme. What? Wow. What kind of person would think a marriage could work with that kind of distance? So then I have to be the bad guy, just like always. He gets to run away and be the fun parent, and I have to be the mean mom and do all the work. Oh, so I divorced fuck. him. I'm sure he's just as proud of his new job as I am, and that's why you're hearing about it now. So sure, go to Nevada, ask him all about it. I'm sure he'll tell you the truth. So he's a gambler. Oh my god, not only did I lose my phone, but I got into a fight with mum. This sucks. I guess now we're going to sit here in silence until we get to this stupid houseboat. What a fun road trip. That was sarcastic. Oh, can I just get out? <laughs> it's a dead end. It's not a dead end. We just have to get out and walk. Where, walk. Tess? I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. I think it's through here. Thanks for the help, by the way. <sighs> Look, I know you're upset. We both are. Let's just get in, see what we can find about Pierre, and get out. Before I change my mind. Agreed. Well, it looks like we finally made it to the houseboat we saw in the picture. Most likely owned by the mystery man, aka Pierre. Whatever we find here, but it'd be worth it. Oh, you're not kidding. Oh my god, look at this place. <gasps> look at this place. Latrec, that's the name of the mystery man. Think he's got mail? Hmm, guess we'll never know. It's locked anyway. Maybe that's for the best. Tampering with other people's mail is illegal. Not after long gone. But <laughs> uh, uh, that's the, the, the mom says it will be illegal, but that's a quitter talk. Yeah, I agree. This is the dream place to live. Are you kidding? Fucking hell! No, this is my dream place. Are you kidding? Papers. Larry Shack. Can we go to Larry Shack? What happened to this place? Oh, we can. Please remember, this is a shared facility for all residents who fish off of their boats or the dock. If you borrow equipment to clean or prepare your catch, return it to its storage space in an orderly fashion. And if you clean your catch on the workbenches here, please clean it thoroughly. Please clean up thoroughly before retiring for the evening. We all rely on one of those considerations to keep this fishing shack in good shape. <gasps> Pierre! Pierre was here. Looks like we're on the right track. Aye, oh, it does indeed, 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 indeed.
Uh, is there anything else in here that, um... They got boots. Hmm, I don't think there's anything else in here. So let's go and have a look in... Where we actually need to be. How are we supposed to get on board? Maybe wow. there's something around here we can use. If we want to cross to the boat, we want to get across to the boat, but if we try to jump the gap, we'll break our shin bones. <laughs> Maybe there's something around here that we can get used to get across. I really like her term of phrase. It amuses me. Ah, I mean this. This is so stupid. We're trespassing. There's no one here. Look we need at to it. go back home. But <laughs> we, what if you fall off and break your neck, Tess? Or who knows what's even in that boat? Or if the floorboards are all rotted? Or or. But we're already here, and the trailer home. Mobile home. The mobile home was fine. I, I just think if we go back now, what's the point? Don't you want to know what happened to Grandma? To find Pierre? Mm. Okay, fine. You stay here, and I'll see what no, I can find. No, that's not going no, to work. You can't go in without me. Don't tell me what I can't do, Tess. No matter how grown up you think you might be, I'm still your mother. I... You're right. I'm sorry. I just... We've done all of this so far together. I just don't want to give that up. <sighs> all right. We'll do it together. But I should go first. Go on, no, then. No, I should go. No, all wait. Is what if you fall first. off? I could say the same to you. I should go first. I'm not gonna let my poor, aged mother walk <laughs> across a rickety bridge before uh, I'm sure it's safe. Let's flip a coin. Call it heads or tails. Alright. I I'll always go heads. Always go heads. Heads. That better not be a trick I've coin lost? either. Lost? In a manner of speaking. After you. All right. Here I go. All right, mother, what's Careful. your fucking knees? Not very climactic. Yeah. Not quite as scary as I thought. Yeah, this thing is pretty sturdy. Especially for just sitting out here for a few decades. Let's hope we can say the same for the rest of the boat. Hmm. Hopefully not fall to our deaths. Quite the party boat Pierre had going on here. No kidding. I kind of want to clean up the rest of these. Ugh, why? Well, they're all in the bucket except these two. <laughs> uh. Aren't you always talking about how important it is to recycle? I like the first one. Well, they're all in the bucket except these well, two. Well, they're all in the bucket except these two. They've been separated from their friends for so many years. Now they will be reunited at last. There's no way he's still here. It's locked. This must be where the money is. <laughs> I seriously doubt that, but regardless, we'll have to... Can I just kick it in? <laughs> I'd say you're free to try, but I don't want you hurting yourself. How sturdy can it be? <gasps> Ow. All right, pretty sturdy. PS office, whatever's in there could blow the lid off this whole thing. Of course, it's locked because nothing's ever easy. Well, we will get in there. I was surprised to receive another letter from you so soon. A houseboat. It's a romantic thought, living right on the water. But don't you suppose it might be a bit small for both of us and two children, including a teenager? Couldn't you have written to me before making this decision? We are still here, waiting for the heat to die down. While I'm excited to start our new life afresh, I have begun to rack up worries. How will the children react? With all they've already been through, what do you suppose my parents will think? 
and us just disappearing. My poor mother. She's already lost a son-in-law. Won't people come looking for us? Are you sure there's no other way? Oh boy. A letter from Grandma! Can you imagine if my mother had actually moved us up here to stay? Mm. I'd be Canadian. <laughs> you wouldn't even exist. Whoa. What? Well, True. Who knows if I would have had a daughter if my whole life had changed back then. I certainly wouldn't have met your father. Wow. So, this is like looking into an alternate reality. Yep. I'd like to live in another reality. Like what? One way you were, we were really rich. One way you and dad were... Oh, fucking get a grip. Rich. One where we were really rich? <laughs> and you could fix up the Andromeda and make every play there amazing? Tess. And we could keep grandma's house and make it all perfect, like better than it's ever been? There's no way to that reality from here. No. Unless... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, unless this guy has actually left shitloads of money. But after all this time later, there's no way there's money left. What? Is this a sexy titty pick of grandma? <laughs> wow. This is from when grandma was really young. Oh my god, that's disturbing. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen this one. Why I don't think I want to see you it again. You look a lot like her. <laughs> really? I always thought I looked more like my father. Um... Maybe you were just imagining things? Yeah, maybe. What? Oh. You mean because he might not have been my father? Hmm. Huh. I suppose I can see the resemblance now that I think about it. You have her smile. That's funny. Wait, there's a fucking fedora sat there. Don't touch that! Why not? It's just as grimy as anything else in this boat. <laughs> Plus, I want to find out what the winter campus fashions were in 1968. Ugh, you don't know where that's been. It's literally Literary. been right here for 30 years. I mean before that. <laughs> like, oh my god, that's mind. fucking disgusting. And I think it was fringed jackets. For God's the sake. The winter campus fashions in 1968. This game is and hilarious. And But really, put that down. <laughs> oh, the sheets are going to be stuck together. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that is funny. That is fucking funny. I like this game. I love it. I genuinely love it. The humour is... is there for me. It's my humour. I love this place. I fucking love to live in a houseboat. I've been saying that for years I want to live in a houseboat. Look at that. Imagine if that was like... Not like that. <laughs> Hopto Lake. Uh, received from Mr. Pierre Lutrec. $3,000 in exchange for the houseboat. $3,000? Is that it? What? $3,000? $3,000? For a houseboat? That's insane! Are you saying that's a lot? Or a little? A little! A little! A little! A little? Only $3,000 for a boat you can live on? Yeah, hello? It's a house! And a boat! <laughs> that's that's two whole things for just $3,000. It's a home! Some people don't even have one thing. It does seem like he probably got a pretty good deal. I... Do you think the boat had something wrong with it? Maybe Pierre just drove a hard bargain. No. I find that very hard to believe. That is insanity. Oh, cool. Nobody to spy on, though. Yeah, that's a shame. I spying. Boy, really getting into the sea captain persona, aren't we? Did the boat ever even leave this dock? No, probably not. Hmm. 
Travel expenses, tank of gas, post. Mm -hmm. Damn, forty grand. Fucking hell. We've definitely found our man. This must have been from when he drove up here. Imagine spending six dollars on a steak lunch, or seven dollars for a tank of gas. Did people just drink more back then? <sighs> yeah, I think so. But this is a lot, even for 1968. Well, how do I get down there? I will find a way. Ah ha ha! Why are there so many dorky hats? Dodge this! Oh my god, I love her so much. Evil? I say evil! What? Look how big this boat is. God, there's a kid's bedroom in here. Tiddlywinks! Oh my god, it's actually oh, tiddlywinks. It's for four players. Sorry, Pierre. Please don't go on about the silly ideas in my head. My concerns are far from silly. This affects all of us. You say we'll have everything we could ever hope for, but I'm not the one who decided to run off across the border and have silly little Helen pick up her entire life and her children's lives at the drop of a hat to follow, no matter how much money was involved. I hope, I hope for things that money can't buy, treasured friendships I've held since I was a girl, my relationship with my parents and siblings, Satisfying work where I could help people, my children to grow up in a loving company of their grandparents and their friends. These are the things you asked me to give up, and for what? Isolation? An unfamiliar place? A leaky boat? <laughs> Money to spend on what? What does it matter if everything else is lost? I mean, I agree, and it was definitely the right decision to not go. You tell him, Grandma. Yeah. Not one to mince words. All those years of writing advice columns paid off, I guess. Kind of nice that she was thinking about you guys, too. Yeah. Not just uprooting your life, dumping you in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. I can't imagine what it would have been like to grow up here. <laughs> You'd have to learn French. No, oh, jeez. <gasps> Sacre bleu. <laughs> oh, no, it's already happening. This place is huge, what are you talking about? This looks... intense. What's the brushy thing for? <laughs> the brushy thing? That's funny. Well, some men shave their face. And some men look like scruffy twats. I'm somewhere in between. Oh, a ledger. Oh god, what's all this? Do I need to read all this? I spend a lot of money on... Bullshit. And whiskey and fucking gambling. Oh, wait a minute. Boy, he really burned through it. I can't imagine just spending $40,000 on nothing. Well... Well, some of it was on this boat. Three! Yeah. Seems like he really loved it. I would. Can you imagine Grandma living here? Can you imagine August living here? Maybe then she would have been a famous painter, because she would have, like, had to paint a bunch of stuff to make it less ugly. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> and you and Grandma would have had to fish every day. This is a very tempting scene you're painting. Hmm. I'm imagining something like Little House on the Prairie, but on a boat. 
little houseboat on the river? Hmm. Rolls off the tongue. Well, we're bonding. So that's good. Regardless of all the shit that's happening. And the fact that we haven't got a home. But we're bonding. And that's the main thing. Robbers hit again in, oh dear. Porton, local and state police are looking for a group of thieves who have made it off with an undisclosed amount of cash taken from climbing cloth clothiers in the burglary Saturday night. According to state police, the men broke into the store around 1.20 a.m. They dismantled the store safe, taking the money bag before fleeing. There were no witnesses. They are encouraging local businesses to deposit all cash to their banks at the end of each business day. Ooh. Until the burglars are being apprehended, it's too risky to leave any money in the store overnight. Michigan State Police have set up an ominous tip line for any information on the identities of the thieves. <gasps> so he was one of the thieves. The burglary ring! Mom, Grandma's boyfriend here was a bank robber. <sighs> Why else would he have this? Yeah. <sighs> Maybe my mother... Sent it to him. No, you funny. To keep him abreast of current abreast. events. Not say abreast. Oh come on, mom. Grandma had a thing going with a bank robber. How cool is that? Well, I'm not well sure okay, it they is. didn't rob any banks. It was the jewelry counters at department stores and things like that. Department store robber doesn't quite have the same ring to it. No. And it wasn't robbery. It was burglary. Well, What's the difference? Yeah. A robbery is when you take something from someone. Oh. Under duress. God, all right, Sheldon. Jesus. You take it when they're unaware. It doesn't matter. It's I all think. the same. You think? Listen, it's been a while since I've brushed up on my criminology. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> and why are they so sure it was men? What? It says the men broke into the store. Yeah, it could but be a bunch of women. There were no witnesses. Ah, so yeah, it's nice. it was men. Smart. You're thinking lady robbers. Yeah, lady like robbers. Catwoman. Well, probably less sexy than Catwoman. I like it. Very cinematic. Mm. Do you think, Grandma? Could have helped. No. Are you don't. seriously asking if I think my mother was an accomplice in all this? Nope. <laughs> On second thought, maybe not. Grandma Helen was too smart to get involved in something like that. Or was she? Look at this place, boy. Pipe. Ahem. <coughs> Attention, every. Oh, man, what? this doesn't work. Should have seen that coming. Oh, he's got his fucking bar stopped up, though. Ooh, a flashlight. Oh, I don't need it. Well, they're out here other than bloody... Ooh. Wow, that is a lot to spend on whiskey. Someone had a drink, problem. Five dollars? A lot for back then, I mean. Whiskey was more expensive then, too. Plus, judging from the state of this place, this was probably a reoccurring order. Jeez, slow it down, Pierre. I don't think he was handling my mother's change of heart too well. With this amount of booze, it doesn't look like he was handling anything too well. Listen, let's just get back to it. It's cold in this busted old boat. I totally wasn't listening there because my brother texted me saying they've started 
making The Witcher 4, <laughs> and I just had a, like a mini heart attack. So I had no idea what she just said. Uh, let me just... There's nothing else, is there? I can't remember what was locked. What that key's for? I totally forgot. Ah. Yeah, that's not... That's... 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 Ah! The office. But I'm starting to think that Pierre's dead. Or he got... Uh, someone... Got a whiff of that he was here and then legged it. I've received your latest letter. This is my final response. You say you did all this for me, but you didn't. Everything you've done, you did for yourself. You were the one who was unsatisfied with our home, our income, and always wanted more. You were the one who made the decision to get more money through reckless illegal means. You were the one who decided to run to Canada to save your own skin without even telling me until it was too late to do anything but follow along. I am not following along anymore. Good for you! You say these are your kids too. Of course they are. But they're my children as well. I'm here with them every day, comforting their grief, trying to console them over the loss of their father. Trying my very hardest to keep up the ruse. But I'm getting used to it. Used to doing this on my own. Used to speaking for myself. To living this new life. I'm regaining my footing. I'm starting to feel okay. Ooh, good for you! Yes! Hmm. Uh, I guess, I guess that's it. I guess that's it. So I guess that's it. So I guess that's it? Grandma and Pierre went to all this trouble and then Grandma just changed her mind? I think maybe she wasn't so convinced in the first place. Well then, why string Pierre along like this for so long? He bought a boat and fixed up the kids' room and everything? Maybe she just wasn't sure at first, or didn't want to hurt him. Oh yeah, I bet he felt great about reading this. Oh, there's more! You say you'll do whatever it takes to make me happy, that you'll give me everything I've always deserved to have. I don't know how else to tell you this, but I think you already have. All I want now is to be left alone, free to lead this new life by my own means. Do not contact me or the children again, this is over for all of us. I think we were happy once. I hope you find happiness again. Oh, Helen, that was a good choice. You did the right thing. Looks like a mailbox key. Ah. Oh, I was hoping that would turn up. I swear, you could be so nosy oh, sometimes. Oh, I am so nosy, mother. So nosy. Well, uh, after the post box we go then, I guess. Looks like Pierre tried to mail this, but he messed up the postage or something. Let's crack this bad boy open. Wait, opening other people's mail? Oh, we've already know, done Tess. so much. Let's open the fucking letter. Live a little. Pretty sure the law frowns on breaking into people's houseboats too. If this guy was your real father, you're his next of kin, so it's fine. If <laughs> this guy was your real father, you're his next of kin, so it's fine. Is that how that works? Yeah. I don't know, probably. Makes sense to me. Makes sense I to me. I suppose you have a point. Good, thank you. Let's see what we've got here. Right, what do we have here? Mm, return to sender. Insufficient post. Oh, okay, that's that. 
Oh, let's read this. Oh, I'm excited. To whom it may concern. Ah, oh, I now confess my culpability for a spate of burglaries which resulted in the theft of almost one half a million dollars. I, ha I had worked as a property inspector for Green County for over 10 years. At a poker game in 1966, I was approached by a man interested in trading blueprints and my knowledge for cash. He and a few others targeted department stores and other businesses that carried large amounts of cash overnight. This relationship developed and I became more and more involved. I was given 10% of the proceeds from the, rob from the robberies in exchange for information on how they could evade detection from the store security. As time went on, the stores they chose to hit became riskier and riskier. I had no way to back out of the arrangement as they had threatened not my, only my safety but that of my families as well. Seeing no other option, I falsified a death certificate with papers I lifted from the county office. I left my wife and daughters to cross the border under an assumed name, giving them instructions to follow me. They never did. And I regret having asked them to. Uh, that what little of my stolen profits remain I have destroyed. What? My wife, Helen, knew nothing of my crimes until it was too late. She only went along with the story of my death because she had no other choice. She is innocent. My decision to involve myself in this series of crimes was mine alone. I ask only that you leave my wife and daughters alone. This is my confession. Leonard Lambrose, that was his name. Oh my giddy god. So Pierre was my dad? He wrote this whole confession, but it never made it. It's been here ever since. I can't believe it. Well, it says right there. I... No, I mean rhetorically, Tess. Jeez. Right, right. Uh, I'm... <sighs> so my mother wasn't having an affair at all. Or whatever this would have been. Not except with Grandpa's secret identity. <sighs> so my father ha hadn't died when we thought he'd had a heart attack. He was just... Here, on this dock. We never got to know him. He, he was just a car ride away. August and I suffered over something that never wow. even happened. I don't even know what to say, to be quite honest. It kind of did happen though, didn't it? As far as you knew, it did. You lived with that your whole life, so... So, to you, it did. <sighs> I can't believe I... I can't believe he just abandoned us all this time he was here uh, he gave up his family his children for an old boat and some booze yeah. i wish i could have talked to him just one more time and my mother living a lie for the rest of her life i can't i can't even imagine <sighs> i just wish i could have talked to her about it while she was alive, I just... Wish you could have been there for her. Wish you could have been there for her? Yeah. If we could have just... She didn't have to carry all this alone. Yeah. I can't believe she would do that to us, lie to us her whole life. It was for your protection. Why didn't she say anything? Even when we were all grown up. Maybe... Maybe she was trying to protect you. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. August was so little, but I was old enough to know the truth. Oh. I just wish we would have talked. There was a lot to put on her, though. Even even if she was older, it was too much. So, that's it? He spent all his money, tried to send this confession, and disappeared, and he never came back? Do you think he could still be alive? He's probably dead. <sighs> I don't know. Honestly, I... I honestly don't care. It doesn't really matter, no. does it? Either way, he's gone. Yeah, I you agree. You don't want to keep going? Maybe we could find... No, I think we've found enough. Yeah. I'm sorry, Mom. He pretended to die. <laughs> but he really just left me, like everyone else. No, oh, Mom! I didn't leave you. Well, maybe not yet. But your dad... Fuck him, fuck dad. I thought you said you were the one who kicked dad out. I mean, 
Well, it wasn't quite like oh, that. Oh, for God's I sake. Guess... What now? Listen. I'll give you the full story in the car. I want it now. I'm give me the freezing give me, out give, here. Give, give, give. Yeah. I want it too. now. Give me now. Tess. Don't make me wait. Thanks for doing this. For coming with me. Of course. And for pushing me to find out what happened. Just doing my job. I know I haven't been the best mom lately. But but I am so lucky Aww. to have such an incredible kind mom oh, mom <laughs> beautiful hard working stop stop you make me cry you make me cry <laughs> just such an amazing daughter mothers and daughters should stick you, together mom. honestly nothing too, more honey. special than that a mother and daughter brilliant Right then, you said in the car would get the tea. I want the tea. Give me the tea. Hey, Mom. I was thinking about something. I wonder what Grandma would say about all this. <laughs> Good question. What do you think? I don't God. think she'd be too happy. No. Now, girls, I hid those private things away so people wouldn't find them. I don't know why you couldn't leave well enough alone. Well, if you didn't want people to find it, maybe you should have gotten rid of it. Agreed. Well, okay. Maybe I did want you to find it. A little bit. So you asked about what happened. Yes. With me and Dad. Oh, uh -huh. yes. Well. Cheated. Your dad, you cheated. you know, was always looking for the next thing. Always had a new idea to try that was going to fix all his problems. Our problems. Mm -hmm. And for a while, it was the video store. And then that sales thing, and then he decided that he was going to be a professional poker player. Of course he was. Is that what you meant by full-time gambler? Yeah. I mean, not really a gambler. He's not playing with his own money. It's all tournaments and stuff. They're playing as a sport. Okay, that's slightly different. I don't know if it is kind of cool. Well, actually, it is kind of cool. I do like poker. That's kind of cool. It's certainly, uh, interesting. Yeah, I mean, I guess he's following his dreams. He might not make it, but he is going for well, it. Well, mm, when you've yeah. got a family, you can't I mean, just do that. I guess I never really thought about it in that kind of light. No. I mean, I wish he could have been here, but he had a dream. No, he he's got it. fucking kids, it. you fanny. Right, right, my little no, web sorry. entrepreneur. How can she not like see that? No, it's rounders. fucking not. It's not really like rounders. Oh, I'll just I mean, swan off and in run into the sunset and, and follow my handsome. dreams. If now I've got a family. He must really like poker. No, he that's fucking it. stupid. But I wouldn't say that's the real reason he left. Sorry. The split came at a really hard time. The theater was doing worse and I was spending all my time there. Then your grandmother started really declining. Oh, and we're going to blame ourselves now. Poor I think man. When I decided we needed to move in with her to care for her. Right. Well, being a full-time caretaker for his mother-in-law was not something your father ever signed up for. So? <sighs> they were so married. So he left for Nevada. For better for worse. He wanted to stay married. Said we could make it work. But by that oh my time, God, I'm it was already over. Yeah, exactly. I realized that this, this was a pattern that would never really end. Do you blame me for ending it? No, absolutely not. No, I... no. L listen. <laughs> I am all for following uh, following your dreams. You should all follow your dreams, right? But if you've made a commitment with somebody... I know this is a game, but shut up. I'm, I can't help it. I have to get this out. <laughs> if you're following your dreams... It's, it's fine to follow your dreams. But if you've made a commitment to someone, if you've married somebody and you've got children... You can't just be like... The days of you going, oh... You know, uh, it's a new month. I think I might try being a professional poker player and I'm going to move to Nevada. Like, I've got dreams. You know, your fucking sick mother is like getting on my fucking nerve. You can't, you can't just do that. If, when you're single, you've got no 
children, you've got no bigger commitment, then fine, you can go off and fucking flit off to Nevada and be a professional twat. I just, it all sounded a bit too, oh, well, he's following his dreams, oh, that's really, like, admir admirable. No, it's not. <laughs> I'm invest- I'm invested! Leave me alone. No, I get it. You needed his support, and he just... ran away. Kind of forced your hand. He made a commitment. Yeah, kind of. That sucks, Mom. But I do miss him. I'm sorry... for buying the tickets. Oh. I should have talked to you first. I guess I thought... I don't know, that Dad, like, explained everything to me in a way that made sense, and that he was living some great life out there. No, you... you shouldn't... apologize. I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier. I... I guess no. I was embarrassed. I'm a kid. That I would have married such a ding-dong. <laughs> Professional gambler. I didn't want to have to say it out loud. But I guess you can't keep running away from your problems forever. Now I have these tickets and I don't know what to do. I think you should go. To Reno? Yeah. No, I'm not going. I think it would be good for you to hear his side of the story. No. We may I'm not, not always get along, but he's not a bad guy. Give me a choice. And you guys have a good relationship. Give me a choice. You should spend some time with him. Give me a I choice. Think it'd be good for both of you. No, give me a choice. Are, are you sure, Mom? No, give me a choice. Yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> no, I don't want to go. Stay with Dad. But it's not over Thanksgiving, right? Oh, God, no. No, no. And Miss August mac and cheese. I disagree. Bad Disapprove. Chance. No. I'm proud of you, Mom. No. <laughs> Disapprove. For what? What do you mean, for what? You're kick-ass. Uh, How many moms would stop packing mom their well. house to drive their daughter all over Michigan to search for a family She secret, could have anybody. Or run their own business. Run a community theater. That's pretty cool. All right, all right. Maybe not the brightest idea from a financial perspective, but it is pretty cool. Thanks, honey. That, I mean, that means a lot. And speaking of businesses, that's pretty impressive that you made enough money to buy a plane ticket. I mean, it yeah. is a bit, yeah. It's exciting her age. that people are willing to pay me to design websites. Yeah, good for you, Lass. Well, I've seen what you can do, and you do a great job. Yes. Oh, thanks, Mom. Uh, I'm serious. When I saw your web stuff, I mean, I don't always know what I'm looking at, <laughs> but I know it looks good. <laughs> thanks. Oh, that's good enough. Thank you. <laughs> An artist's eye, just like your grandma. And my mom. But maybe it skipped over my aunt. Yeah, possibly. <laughs> Come on. Her painting wasn't Have that Have you seen bad. the fucking dog with the goggly <laughs> frog eyes? Well, I guess... I guess I always imagined that you'd go to Ford like Grandma and me. It's silly, but but it's not fair of me. Mm. God knows I didn't do everything my mom wanted me to do. We are not saying that to our mother. Like seeing Kurt? Yeah, exactly. Amongst many other things. But yeah, it's hard to let go, to see you as an adult, and not just my baby girl. Aww. Mom. <laughs> you were so cute back then, even cuter than now. Stop. <laughs> and you had the biggest head. Uh, Everyone said it. <laughs> Everyone said, that's the baby with the biggest head. Oh my god, I love it. Bowling that. ball head, the bowling ball baby. <laughs> yep. And it was all your dad. On my side, oh, yeah, we all have perfect Tiny little heads, like golf balls. Mm-hmm. So, what do you think about the whole August thing? Moving in with her? Yeah, I guess. Go to Chicago, it's yes! A big decision, moving to Chicago. Go. It's a yeah, that's putting it mildly. Would you want to move in with her? Yes. It seems like a good choice, even if it's just for a while. At least we'd have a place to stay. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Good. Are you worried about the theater? Or my school? These days I'm worried about everything. But I'm confident too. 
confident we can figure it out. She'll figure yeah. it out in Chicago. We've been through so much this last year. You've been through so much. I just... I have to have faith that we'll continue to make things work. Yes. Yeah. Me too. I will say, August's house is pretty nice. Is it? Her bathtub is the size of my bedroom. Duh. Yeah, I mean, it'll be worth it for the bathtub alone. Well then. We should call August and tell her about all this. Oh, hey August, guess what? Our dad really is our dad. <laughs> yeah, that's a fucking... <laughs> Yeah. You can sleep easy. We're not French Canadian after all. Well, that is a relief. <laughs> Whatever we end up doing, I'm just glad. I'm glad you're with me. Yeah. Me too. Ah. And that was it! Ah, oh, that's amazing! That was fucking fantastic, you know? That was fan fucking tastic. And I'm telling you, I read some dodgy uh, reviews on this, I think were really unfair. Uh, people say, oh, not a lot happened and all this bullshit. Like, we had, we had the, the fucking, the, the, the fucking adventures we went on, the fucking conspiracies, the, the, the mysteries, the secrets, all the gossip and the, oh, the lore. I was thoroughly, I, I know there was a lot of talking and stuff. And normally I would get bored after an hour. This is like nearly, this is near, fucking hell, this is nearly four hours. Well, no, actually it's not because I took a break and editing. Um, so, but it will be over three hours. I, I, did, I wasn't bored. Like, absolute brilliant work by everyone that made this game. The, the graphics are gorgeous. The, the voice acting was very good. It was funny. It was wholesome. Oh, my God. Round of a fucking applause. I could not, I cannot write that enough. I thoroughly enjoyed every bit of that. It was a. I thought it was really engaging. I had. I had a very good time. Like, I didn't expect actually to play this all through in one go, but here we are. Well, I hope you enjoyed this, and you can let me know in the comments like what you thought of it. But yeah, I, as I said, I, I think some of the comments were 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 a bit harsh. I thought that was a beautiful game, and I was very. In, I I got very invested. <laughs> I got very invested in the story and the characters actually. And I'm glad it all kind of worked out in the end. I like a happy ending. Very good. Yes. Uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, don't forget, this is... If, you're, if you've got Game Pass, you can download this and play it on Game Pass now. So, thank you for watching. If you got this far, then well done. And I thoroughly appreciate it. And for me now, it's nearly 1am, so I'm going to bed. Goodbye.